Okay, move over a little bit. And... <laughs> oh my lord. This, this task yes. brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts Coffee. Mm -hmm. Good, good shot. Why am I the only one who's good on the shill game? Get the fuck out my level. All right, guys. Okay, so just see, so, just real, real quick, guys, because now we're seeing hosted emote. Now, guys, uh, I got, I got a link I'm gonna spam here in the chat, everybody. Uh, guess what, guys? What? That is the iTunes link to the Unexpectables podcast, everybody. Oh, Ooh, yeah, isn't that nice? Ooh. It's so, fr oh. it's so, it's so fetch, guys. Um, and not only that, fetch. Oh yeah, I'm bringing it back. It's fetch. That dude, that is, that is like the most teenage girl fucking quote i've ever heard that is so fetch it's so fetch <clears throat> and guys get 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 this here's the google play link for the Whoa. google play version of the unexpectables podcast Ooh, oh my nice. god that's Dude, right hot damn yeah i know we got both and you can everyone please follow austin eruption on twitter because he is him. the lovely gentleman who has been taking care of all this audio and getting this on so many different platforms for all of us here at the Unexpectables. Now, has everyone had a good week before we start? Just want to talk about everybody? Are we, are we doing okay? Pretty, pretty good week. It's It's been going a mile a minute, but yeah. Yesterday was rough, but I'm, I'm feeling really, really good today. I'm happy you're doing good, Nadine. Mm -hmm. eh. yeah. <laughs> uh, TF, TFS at the table is going actually pretty well. I was able to get all the... Uh, Pretty much all the NPCs I wanted the characters to meet has now, that's happened, and now it's just finish up this first part of the story before we get to the fun filler One Piece part. Okay, so, here, so here's here's the thing. Now, is, is, is Lanny's character going to get lost on an island where there's a homeless person in a treasure chest? Lanny's character almost got beaten the fuck out of by a nine-foot-tall tiefling, which I described as Sajiko on pixie sticks. Well, you know, <laughs> what did Nick do? Go up and slap them on the knee? No, oh, it, was, it, it was a fucking, it was a Coliseum fight. All, it was like, fight the champion so you can get inside the chamber so you can go into the basement. All right, where's the champion? She just hoists the entire fucking arena up with one hand. <laughs> my lord, my lord, my lord. Look, that's good. Um, now, uh, for me, uh, I had first day at my office today working on my thing, uh, which I'm really nice. happy about. Yeah, I know it's good. I've got the fuck out of my house. <laughs> You have no idea. It's like isolation breeds insanity or something like that. Uh, I know exactly how that feels, bro. Oh. Why do you think I moved here? Uh, you do seem to be doing better. Yeah, I'm a lot less stressed. It's like uh, mm. one of the worst things about uploading a video so far has been just like the reception. But uh, I haven't stressed about any of that in a, about a month or so, and it feels really good. That's really, I'm really happy to hear that, man. <clears throat> mm. Now, see, now what's been going on with you? Let me see what you've what been doing, Ben. Uh, 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 a whole lot of, uh, nothing, really. <laughs> but you, you didn't get, uh, we, well, but, like, but, but, like, you're still awesome, though. I mean, so. Uh, I, I guess so. In yeah. some people's purview, I might be. And don't forget, you, we, we've discovered a brand new voice that you can do, which is Venom Snake, if he was, <laughs> if, if, if. Oh, it's not even brand new. It's just a... Yo, Snake. It's just a thing. Well, Diamond Dog, Snake, you gotta rescue that guy inside that place because he's also a Diamond Dog. Uh, he's a, a Diamond Dog. I'm a demon. <laughs> oh, God. Again. Well, Dean, can, you culti can you cultivate a D&D &D campaign for this version of Phantom Snake? Is it possible with all of us playing the auxiliary staff? <laughs> <laughs> you're all characters, but you're you're all on the on the radio, just just talking oh to me. Oh my god! Maybe. Snake, you gotta go and talk to that tiefling. Guy the horn is like me. Lordy, 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 demons, I, I I am going nuclear. <laughs> I like I like the all orc thing too. The the all orc. The, the all orcs. The yes, orc. me the me. All orc campaign. The, the oh yeah. All orc campaign. Oh. Uh, I, I just realized something. We're all orcs. That is true. It is true. We we what, wait orcs. I use a gobbo. Be quiet. <laughs> Kick. <laughs> hey, you don't talk to him like that. It's Wait, true. Did that food just talk? Oh, you know what? Food's got to be quiet until it's dinner time. Especially food's got to be quiet and it's got to hey, stink. Boys, boys, boys. It's got to stink. It's got to stink. Oh. Real <laughs> <laughs> but, but for real though, guys, we have to open this checking, checking account here at this bank. 
Are we are we ready to start? I, I have the intro done. Oh, you I do. want to have. I know I want to have. Two Orcs at one, the bank. <laughs> one one special campaign of all orcs, please. Well, oh, we'll see. Maybe. maybe. Well, it, oh, no, man. they have to. They people have... people come up with the greatest punchlines and one-liners of all time, but a well-timed burp is still funny. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. You, Alrighty. you killed me last week. You destroyed me. It was last week. I couldn't <laughs> breathe. Rest, yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. What, I didn't, what was the burp from? What was that from, actually? I don't remember. It was like something, like it was something kind of quasi-serious, and then like, and like, literally, it was just like... I think we, like, were talk, we were talking about the, the sun Nazis, and if, oh, if yeah, they had yeah, died... Yeah. If they had died, and I was just like, yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> Magical something, thank you so much for the 10,000. A lot of the bit drops, but 10,000 bits. Thank you so much, Magical something. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Thank you. It was a good one, too. Super cake. Super, oh, super cake into the good boy. Into the good boy's mouth. All right, guys. Thank you. Oh, my God. I, I would love to hover on this, but we got to get going here, guys. Uh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. don't forget, uh, I am going to spam. Please, by the way, guys, before we start, there's one more quick piece of information <sighs> here. What? 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 One more quick piece of information. Uh, the, no, no, no. I was, I was actually sawing. I was actually, like, the, letting out an exhale of sigh. If you can please, uh, it, we would really appreciate this uh, from all of us here. If you guys could, when you go to the iTunes, if you can, if you can, if you can, if you can leave a like a like a, a five. If you guys start with however you want and a review, it actually really helps in the metrics to push it up, so other people might end up finding the actual podcast. And the likelihood of us actually uh, maybe being able to collab with some people in the future could be there. So if you guys, when you go there to the links that we provided, if you guys can just like you know subscribe, rate, and review, we would greatly freaking appreciate it because it would really help us going forward. And uh, okay. from all of us to you, thank you so much. All righty, Nadine. Any, any, anything anything else you want to talk about? Are you good to go? I'm good to go. All right, let me grab my. Oh, I gotta grab my. All right, let's roll bones. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, why are Rolling we... bones indeed. Oh, All righty. When last we left our heroes, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Task the Kobold Ranger, and Borky the Orc Barbarian, the party delved into the realm of Stillhavity to rescue their comrade Solly from the clutches of a malicious demigod and his nightmarish guard dog memories. Now, after rescuing Sully's soul and sending her back to the material plane, the party emerged from Stillhavity's pocket dimension and back into Stillhavity's twisted realm. Stillhavity, now disconnected from Sully's soul, realized the party's location and is now staring them down from his own twisted sky. Panic, in turn, flipped him off mm. yeah. with both fingers mm. yeah. while, while screaming. With that mistake complete, the party now stands in the shadow of a furious demigod. Alrighty. Oh so fuck! Good. I can't believe you've done this, Panic. Can All right, I can. Rolling survival to look at the compass on the back of my hand that I drew. Alrighty, let me grab some appropriate music here. Uh, there are a lot of songs that can be. If there's a lot yeah, of songs. Yeah, I know. When I flip off, curb, God, curb, you're you're go. please curb your enthusiasm. It might get us in trouble on YouTube, but I would approve of it. <laughs> I don't know if any of my music's gonna play here. I don't. I don't know either. I don't. That doesn't appear to be working. But, Sorry. I'm gonna roll there. There, we go. there, oh, there it is. There it is. There. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, so. Alrighty. Roll your survival there, Task. Sure thing. And twenty-two. Turn it down a bit. All right. Using your compass, you're able to discern the location of where you guys put down that one thing that you left for lies in the in the twisted realm. You distinctly yep. remember putting a torch there with the tassels from the rug. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I'm just go. Gonna... Yeah, we go. I everybody, go. Everybody, roll acrobatics checks. No. Oh Jesus. Twenty three. Oh boy. Okay. A oh, natural no. one. No. Okay. no. Okay. No, God, oh. Nidhi, no, we get one. Wow, well, I want to give me. <laughs> Off to a great start here. This acrobatics, is... you said? Acrobatics, just acrobatics. Huh? Yeah. That is a seven. All right. Hold on, me, hold on, let me pull out my character sheet. Uh, can like, silly question. Oh my God. Um, mm -hmm. If I see someone stumble since Borky's big, can he pick them up with one hand? Is that possible? <laughs> Uh, roll your acrobatics, and if you pass your acrobatics, I will let you do a can I, strength can check. I do, can I do can I do athletics instead, or only acrobatics? You you're running. Uh, yeah, you can do you can do athletics for you. Yay! Borky's a big tough son of a gun. One second, sorry. 
I'll do my athletics. <laughs> Fucking oh son of a bitch! Are you kidding me? Whoa. Well, leave me behind, boys. Go for it. I go, go, I boy. Kicked, I kicked Task. Wow. <laughs> All right. You kicked Task. <laughs> that uh, one. That one, by the way. Reckles, you're, 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 yeah, two natural ones. Greckles, you begin to run just like, like going. And then, Task, you begin to run, and then you watch as that black ichor from the floor, still Havity himself, you watch like a wave of lights running across the ground. All of the eyes of each corpse is now opening and turning to each one of you. No! One by one, millions upon millions of eyes now staring. And as you try to run, they reach out and they grab you. Oh, cool. Oh, can, no. Can and I do something? Hear, uh, sure, I, if you just wouldn't mind letting me do okay, I'm. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I, for one, don't accept this program. Roll 20 is cursed. <laughs> Borky, as you run, you trip, and you are also grabbed by the arms. Your feet are on porcelain still, Ew. but your arms are grabbed as well. Ew. And Task, you hear a voice echoing both in your head and now echoing above you. Hello, Dragonling. I have something of yours. And you see rising up about five feet off from you, your helmet held aloft by a twisted hand from the ground. Don't you want it more than anything? <laughs> after ev after everything I've been through, do you honestly think I'm gonna give a shit about whatever you have to offer me? <sighs> it doesn't matter. And what about you? And Borky, you see as one of the faces in the ground turns to you and begins to meld and form into a familiar face, a mother's face. Borky punches the face. Okay. And as you guys resist, you feel a divine presence protecting you. You feel the mask strengthening. Bor uh, Greckles, as you're running, you feel the, ma the mask pulling you back to your comrades. Uh, I run back as soon as, now, as soon as I see this, I'm going to be diving for Task because, no offense, Task, but you are the smaller boy. Uh, that's true. I, I, I'd have an easier time saving you than big old boy. No, 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 it's, 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 it's logical. Panic, what are you doing? I'm tense right now. Uh, tense. Well, uh, seeing seeing that uh, Greco's is coming, uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, so, uh, could I roll something to see if these things have individual intelligences or if they're all being controlled? Uh, that would be knowledge... Oh god, knowledge arcana. Okay, yeah, say, that's planar. That's, 22. Yeah. Okay, you get the sense that still have it, he's controlling all of these things. So they don't have their own individual consciousness? No, they're part of him, and he's even if they did, it's too long gone. Okay. At this point, with all the eyes open, they're his now. All you right. get the uh, sense. The moments before where it grabbed Greckles, you get the sense that there was just a husk of a person there once before, but seeing them now, they're, there's no one there except for him. Okay. Uh, and they're they're all still grabbing us. Uh, you you go to help Borky or? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to help Borky. Okay, as you guys go to help each other up, the ground around you in a square begins to rise up, like oh. just up, and like a box, you are all trapped inside, and still have the leers over the box like a kid who's got grasshoppers in a glass jar, just <sighs> leering down, and you feel. A wetness land on your face. Uh, oh really? God! Oh, oh, and God. you touch it, and it's blood coming from a socket where his eye used to be. Oh. The eye that you recognize was probably staring out of the sun. Can, can, uh, can we? Ah! Can we try? And you? Oh, sorry. What were you gonna say? Can we get away? Can we? Is there any? Is like... No, we're fucked, son. Oh well, it's been good. You're. It's going up. It's yeah, been, it's like I killed us all, guys. It's, it's sorry, been, it's been good gaming with you all, guys. It's really. Yep, has. I killed you all. Sorry about that. As the despair kind of begins to creep up, and you watch still Havity, you watch the top that rises up to about the, the the height of a skyscraper begin to seal up at the top, and as the light that you saw appearing above him begins to disappear, you hear a voice in your minds. There is something that you must do, do. And it is the only way to save us, save us. I need you to insult Still Havity, Still Havity, like you've never insulted him before. Panic. 
everybody cracks I'll, his I'll, neck. Everybody, I'm gonna give you two minutes to write a roast for Stillhavity. Let me grab a pen. I'm gonna grab a pen. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. Where's my pen? I'm gonna time this. You guys have two minutes. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ba -da okay, time starting now. All right. Time almost freezes as you think up your insults for still Stillhavity. <laughs> Okay, I can't. I don't have anything to write with. I don't know what happened to my pen. I don't know what to do. Uh, type, type something. Pick up notebook and type something. No. Or just think of something. Just think of something. Okay, 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 okay. This is intense. This is intense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy something I know. Uh, what is the god of greed's name? Really Girasil. 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 I typed it in the. the it's not needed, but thank you. I imagine all of them writing with pen and paper. Is this good? <laughs> this feels a little bit too Jeff Ross. <laughs> you have thirty seconds left. I, uh, I'm just. I, I'm keeping my short and sweet. <laughs> Time's up. Got it. <clears throat> Still have it, he stares down at you, his neck craning. And as you hear that voice from Lies, um, who wants to go first? I'll go first. You want to go first? All right, Greckles, you step up to the plate. Greckles steps up, just soaking in the fact that he saved one of his, he saved someone so dear to him. And he just, you hear a low, a low breath. <laughs> <laughs> your father must be so disappointed in you it's bad enough how hard it was to get one mortal in your grasp but four just stole your precious boy a mangy worthless bird from the gutter stole your precious toy because you were too stupid to pay attention you're the fair that kids are still should have aborted how does it feel still have any, to have failed time and time again only <clears throat> Again, <clears throat> only for us to take your eye. And you watch as his neck creams back and that tower begins to almost open up so he can see in further. Borky, you're up. Borky just takes a deep breath. I still have it. <sighs> You ain't okay. You ain't okay. You ain't okay. You ain't okay. You know who is? You know who is? Not you. You ain't okay. You know who is a little bit okay? Task. Crackles. Them. They're all kind of okay. And my main man, Panic Grimtongue. Ain't that right? You ain't okay. You ain't even half an orc. Oh, you, you know are? who is? This guy, and this he points guy. to Borky. This guy right here. Who's got two Still thumbs? Still happy, he tilts his head very confused. Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Panic, you're up. I want to go last. You want to go last? Task, yes. do you want to go UK? Go next? Uh, sure. Task, you're up. Look at you. The size of you. The power you hold, and yet the smallest of creatures in the mortal realm has bested a shambling, crying child of a demigod. You think that taking away things will let you have sway over others? You hold no sway over me. You are not bigger than me. 
I am bigger than you! Still have these screams, and you watch as he begins to rear back his hand. Panic, it is now your turn. Panic cracks his neck, cracks his knuckles, steps up, puts his hands on his hips and says, Let me tell you something, Stilhavity. Something I learned in my childhood about life. It's a game, really. And let me tell you, there are no rules in the game of life, except one. It's unfair. But you're a child, so of course you didn't know this. Life is unfair for everyone and everything, even you. So let me teach you this lesson. Just how unfair life can be, even for a pus-filled, weeping infant god like yourself. You will fail, you will fall, and you will die. And it will be us to strangle the life out of you and present your tear-stained head to your abhorrent father. I will not be lectured by ants. And the hand comes down, and as it does, almost like a hand coming into a tower of water, the blackness spreads. But boom, your heart beats. The hand crashing down, bigger than Alavas, bigger than a continent itself, comes down, the darkness now deafening. But boom, your heart beats, and you watch as all the masks from your faces come together in front of you. And you feel yourself enraptured, almost like in a blanket. But boom. The hand comes closer, but bum closer. Death is coming closer. And then you hear a voice. It will be okay, lives. As the hand hits you and everything goes black. And as it goes black, you hear a crack of porcelain. Jesus. I want everybody to roll constitution saving throws. Oh, good. Come on, that one's, that one's, that one's, that one's. All one. that one, all that one's. I, I... All right, so saving throw or just regular? Uh, Constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, let's take a do it. 20, 14. 14. Take all nine. nine. Okay. 17. <sighs> None of us crit failed? What are we doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> At least you guys rolled double digits. Uh, start over. Everyone roll again. <laughs> Little did you know, getting double digits means you die even more. All right, uh, Greckles, you take 18 points of damage. I'm dead. Are you dead? You're down? I am, okay. I am down, neg two. Okay. The rest of you guys, this will be half. Okay, the rest of you guys take 11 points of damage. Wow. Okay. Jesus, I'm down. I'm almost dead. Two, I... Wow, this is the first time I've actually taken damage. Who, who had the <laughs> highest constitution save? Oh, okay, it was Tassie. That was me. Yeah. Task, you wake up and your face is in Borky's armpit. Blah! <laughs> you, as you rear back your head, boom, you hit something hard. Ah, oh, fuck! You turn around, what is it? The cosmos, stretching out farther than you can even imagine. You're floating in almost a Christmas ornament type orb, and you see Liza's mask staring out. Are we dead? No. No. Worky, you begin to stir. Mm. And you too see the cosmos as well. Panic, you have the worst headache, like, oh. ever. Uh, Are all of you hammer. okay? Okay. Look over to the bird. He doesn't look too hot. I have yeah. one more spell slot left. Healing yeah. hands. As you look at, at Greckles, he's got, he's missing some feathers. He's got a really big wound on his head. Oh boy. Well, let's touch that and use cure wounds. Yay. Uh, roll a 1d8 plus your spell. Oh, I was going to, there, there it is. All right. So ten. that's 10 healing. Yay. I have eight hit points now. <laughs> Hooray. You, Second your effort. eyes feel heavy, Greckles, as you kind of blink and look. Oh, God, what was that? Of what I remember, I uh, what happy was, I uh, you all said a bunch of stuff, and I really pissed off Still Havity by saying he wasn't orky, uh, and now we're floating uh, in stars. So you know, uh, this is beautiful. Someone should have sent a poet. Oh wait, 
He pulls out some pen and paper. <laughs> you should write that it's cool. <laughs> I'm Panic glad writes. to see. <laughs> That's cool. It's cool. Yeah, they, it's a big. It it's bad. cool. <laughs> um, you guys are basically standing. Uh, I want. You, actually, you know what? It's totally obvious. You're gonna totally see it. As you guys are floating in space, you see now spanning out light, sunlight, and you see a thing larger, larger than still have the, larger than comprehension. You see a glowing white and red and orange creature with a snub nose and, and gnashing teeth, almost like a shisa, with large claws and a long, long tail wrapping around a giant, almost pearlescent purple and blue orb. And you see the glow of the sun coming from its eye, a long mane bellowing from its neck, licking up at the cosmos. And through the tint of Liza's orb of safety, you look upon the god, Orin. And you see, floating a distance away from him, almost like a mole, like a gross black and brown mole floating in space near him. And you see it, the last tether attached to its face, snap, as Stilhavity floats into space. And Lies whispers to you, do you know what the best thing about helping someone else is, is? We could probably take a guess, but most likely we'd get it wrong. So why don't you tell us? Working. Sometimes by helping someone else, else, you help yourself, self. You may want to squint, squint. And you watch as Orin turns its neck to the little orb that is still have the, its mouth snaps open and holy fire blasts over still Havity, just absolutely engulfing him. And you watch as this bellowing flame spits out into like forever, basically. You see still Havity, like an octopus, fleeing, running, creating a hole in this realm and squirming out like a disgusting little parasite, weeping and wailing as it runs. Oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, Panic, uh, just just leaning back in space, just goes. That's good. That's good. Can we all just clap? Can we all just clap? That's good. It's good. Uh, good. Good. Good teamwork, everybody. He ain't okay. Uh. -uh. <laughs> you watch with almost like a whale-like moan as Orin's mouth comes to a close and the fire stops, and slowly it begins to turn over, and as it turns. Task, you feel a strange sensation to you. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It You feel a warmth in your core. Just okay. Very warm. And well. it, it's a very strange sensation, but but it's there. The moment Oren almost passes, passes its glance over you. The but, rest of you don't feel this. Task, like, clutches his chest, like, okay, what is happening? Orin continues to turn, and as it does, you see its other eye. And it's a deep, empty blue, and it's shattered. Pieces of it tossed among the stars, broken. And as you turn back, I want everybody to roll Knowledge Nature. Which seems weird, but roll Knowledge Nature. Knowledge okay. Nature. Okay. That's an eight. Ah, that's a ten. <laughs> Ooh, that's a 17. Hot oh, damn. Oh, oh, what's nature? Oh, there it is. Okay. 14. Greckles and Borky. This is a wounded creature. It's just like a wounded animal. Yet this is what the sun is. This is sun. This is the fire that you know. It's just like an animal. And you watch as Orin lifts up one of its claws and grips into this large pearlescent purple and blue orb and then rests its head back into its proper space, returning I'm, the sun. I'm, uh, 
if, if this is metagaming, just say so. But like, I would want to try and sketch this thing. I've got the parchment and pen. Sure. Uh, what would this be to draw? Well, I don't know. With you know with what? Dexterity. Pen? Dexterity check. Okay. To draw. I would like to uh, turn over 21. to Elias. Nice. You scribble really quickly, and you splatter some of the ink, but you manage to get a really simple picture of it. Uh, Task will turn to Lies and ask, is there no way to repair what was done? Not from you. you. And as Lies turns, you see there's a giant crack running from one of the feather pieces down past the eye to the mouth. On Lies? On Lies, yeah. Lies, are you okay? I'm okay. Lies. No, it's just, just when you say your name afterwards, you can, okay. I... Go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead. Say what you were going to say. Is there any way to get back home? I can get you back home. But I will be gone. Gone. Where? I've used too much of my power. Power. In order to get you out, out. I had to force Stilhavity's hand, hand, no pun intended, intended. Mm -hmm. Using the blow he dealt upon me, me, I was able to get you out, out. Does Orin not take heed to the fact that you are here, that you're part of the reason why he was able to get that leech off of him? Surely you being in his realm wounded, he'd do something about it. Oh, task, task. Gods cannot heal other gods, gods. And being a piece of one limits what I can have, have. Are you afraid that he might find your being here intrusive? We should ask him, him. And you see a being with wings flying closer to you. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Greckle's see... actually... Greckle step forward and, and bows. Okay. You see now Solar standing before lies. Okay. S silly question for me. Forgive me. I'm, I'm getting a bit... Um, I might be a little bit confused here. Oran okay. is what this 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 the god of the sun. Okay, Oran yeah, is Aura, the god but, of the sun. Yeah. But so so who's flying towards us now? Solar, Solar. who's a servant to Oran. Oh my god, I got those two. I thought those two. And is and is also Sully's pseudo. I I, I, I literally yeah. I literally am Borky right now. I apologize. Okay, <laughs> so okay, <laughs> it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Solar flies up and looks to lies and lies is like you guys are just kind of like a little ball like a teardrop shape and then lies head is on one on one side it looks kind of weird but you mm. do feel safe and the fact that you're not burning alive is you know a plus and we're not um, suffocating in the cosmos of space either that's good yeah. you got decent life support right now <laughs> um and solar flies up and begins to speak in a very colorful language mm. and lies begins to speak back and the two begin to converse with each other. I cast Comprehend Language. Okay. And you hear, oh God, I have to do voice for Solar. God damn it. <laughs> Don't, why do you have to do this? Damn it, panic. Damn it, <laughs> panic, right, making me work for it. Here's, Is, um... oh, here, here's Patrick Warburton, everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my God. Would, would, there, be, would, be, would there be time to uh, sketch this exchange as well? Uh, or is it going to be too rapid? I mean, you could, you want to draw solar? Just like as, as much as I could just, this is, these are all extra planar beings that most people have probably never seen before. So you never know when this is going to come in handy. You do know that there are statues to solar. Okay. <laughs> so I think, I, I think I've never, <laughs> I've, I've never been told that in game. So, okay. That's yeah. a nice picture of a statue, Greco's, by the way. <laughs> Shut up, Bucky. Um, At least I can rest, draw. While the rest oh. of you hear this very eloquated language, uh, uh, Panic, you jump in kind of midway through the conversation. And uh, 
and you hear lies kind of lies is talking more which is weird and you hear it say there's no matter of keeping your attention attention this thing keeps growing bigger bigger but for now it will lick its wounds wounds i'm sorry orin is growing weaker weaker Perhaps the mortals will figure out what to do, to do, but you must guide them, guide them. And Solar turns and looks, and then he looks to you, Greckles. Oh. oh. <laughs> and, gives, and gives you the dad stare. No <laughs> pictures! <laughs> I'm just imagining he looks like Triple H. I don't know why. Just like, yeah, it's kind of like... Son, <laughs> he looks I like, am disappointed. He looks kind of like Fabio meets Triple H a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah! He um, looks like a Greg pillar man. He looks like a pillar man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greckles Greg Greg is doing that hardcore 90 degree bow to him. He turns back to Lies and Lies continues. Your daughter, daughter. You need to accept that's what she is. She is. You can't just command mortals, mortals. They're not pieces on a board, board. You must guide them, guide them. That is when their greatness shows, shows. I know you feel shame for what is happening, happening. But if you want to fix it, fix it. They need to know. And you see Solar's face grow kind of like he's a little indignant. Like, how dare you talk to me? You're not part of this. But at the same time, there's a bit of acceptance to it. Mm. And then he nods and then flies off. Brava. We 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 did save his sort of life. Yeah, you, you kind of did. It. And that's that's you. You get the sense that's kind of the irritation to him, especially the way mm. he was looking at the you guys. The mortals had to do this. What you say? I cannot yeah. believe that this entire situation was avoided because. A gaggle of dipshits. <laughs> just a whole gaggle of them. Just they just they they made they made him blink. They pissed in God's eye and he blinked. Oh. Lies. Right, lies. I'll be okay. Lies. Well, you said you were going away, but I, I don't right. want you to go away. I, I, you're my friend. Friend, friend. Yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. I left a part of me, me, in Alavast, Alavast. It won't change, change. But my physical self, self, who I am, am, will die today, today. Forky Is starts, there any? Forky starts crying. Oh, jeez. Lies, before we do anything, what's this about? Task opens his hand on his chest, like, looking up at her. Or it. It. That, that is who you are, are. I cannot answer your questions, questions. I'm a simple god, god. I only open doors. Well, so long as you exist out here, at least that's a victory in my book. I will be only a fragment of a fragment. Fragment. Do you have any last words? I do. Do. Panic pulls out his pen and parchment. And if, I need I need to interject really quick before this this completely escapes the uh, realm of possibility. Is there is there anything we can remember you by lies? What I have taught you, you. What I have said, said. And in the things you have done, done. You will not be rewarded for your actions this day, day. In gold, gold, or items, items. But know this, this. I am proud of you. And do not weep for me, me, for I am going to lose so much, much, but gain so much more, more. And you feel yourselves moving 
towards that pearlescent purple and blue orb, the material plane. And you feel almost like a comet falling and falling and falling. And then once you reach the edge, it goes white. And you hear that final porcelain crack. And then the rush of wind as you see the ground spiraling towards you. Oh God, you're falling. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh fuck. Oh my God. Oh. And as you guys are falling, you see two pieces now snapped in half of Liza's mask tumbling beside you, the air rushing through your clothes. I grab it hair. immediately. Uh, roll an acrobatics check with disadvantage. 10. Damn it. Can, Bor Ten. can Borky try to grab the other half? Yeah, acrobatics with disadvantage. You're falling, so no athletics check for that one. Sorry. Ah, Ten. Ten. Can I, okay. Can I can I mage hand it? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I'll mage hand that. All right. You both simultaneously both mage hand both pieces of the mask and bring them towards you. You guys. Oh, let's see your acrobatics. Uh, okay, you guys are managing to fall, but you see the ground rushing towards you faster and faster and faster. Let me, sorry, I gotta find some, I, gotta, I got some music. I got some music here. There we go. Uh, I, I would like to bring in our guest star now. Oh, oh shit. Oh. What? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. We are joined oh, by, please do the introductions, Nadine. This is uh, Edward, Ed, Ed, Edward Bosco. Close enough. Yeah, that's oh, right. did I say your no, name wrong? I just know no, you got it exactly right. I'm just being a jerk. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind jumping, actually, uh, you have to change your picture still, my friend. Did it not change again? No, you did not change quick, again. Quick, we're in the middle of falling. We're in the middle of falling. This is a bad time to be doing this. Nope. It's still the bull. I don't know why it's the bull. It looks fine for me. No, it's oh my bull. god, I can't believe. I, I can't believe Michael Jordan is going to save us. Come on, it's slam! How did you know? I mean, it is the anniversary of Space Jam. Try, try setting it in your profile and then read, like, just close out Roll20 and load it back in. Yeah. Someone someone, please make fan art of Michael Jordan jumping in the air and catching the <laughs> board. Hey, no, dog. please make this. This whole arc started with, with Sully playing basketball, going, I believe I can fly playing. <laughs> you gotta get inside and learn about about sun god but i just want to believe in hope nah <laughs> nope <laughs> oh my god, I'm, dying. I'm literally dying right now i can't i can't believe the future is ending and we're going to end up in neo new alabast <laughs> 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 is it working oh, man, shut you? up and jam <laughs> okay is it is it I working yeah, it looks fine for me. I'm gonna try to come back in here. You guys, let's are see crazy. if it works. I swear to God, if I see that that <laughs> okay, cow, can you, can you, can you, can you, it's not a cow. It's not a cow. I don't. Sorry. The ultimate chaos dunk is happening. <laughs> Un <laughs> unexpected. Shut no, up, I jam. It's, it's still just your bull picture, man. That's All weird because right. it looks fine for me. I'm a... Does it look like? Is it your face? Yeah, like, no, yeah, it looks like the thing it's supposed to be. I'm loading back in yeah, myself. So, I'm gonna see if it's on so, my end. Nope, it's send the, send the picture yeah, yeah, to yeah. Maybe it's oh, like... oh, yes, we got him. I got him. I refreshed. I got him. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it too. We got oh, him. Here we go. Don't refresh, don't refresh. There we go. It's our fault. Okay, we're falling, and this is just a picture. <laughs> it's a <laughs> picture of you free. We should be dead by now. <laughs> Why did you guys all get super quiet suddenly? Oh. I have no idea. Might be uh. from reloading. <laughs> yeah, one second. Let me just fix the thing. Readjust. Yeah, I have to readjust here. Hi guys, I'm I'm here to break the game. That's what I'm here to do. Excellent, good job, Bosco. Um, I'm exactly trying to. What I brought you in for. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys, sorry. This. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about this tech issue, guys. Your volume is now like one third of what it's supposed to be, and I don't know what to do. Want to restart the call? I'm gonna have to leave the call. Hello? Okay. There it is. Hello. Hello. There we go. Okay. I do apologize. Okay. okay. Now, please narrate us back into where we were. <laughs> All right, you are falling as the ground is spinning closer and closer to you. Uh, Remy, you are currently having a lovely breakfast. It is oh, yeah, yeah. really nice, calm, gentle breeze. Meanwhile, you guys are screaming up in the ceiling, spinning around. Greco's, you are full on like going sideways like a frisbee at the moment, just flipping it. <laughs> do I have? Do I no? Do I have half the mask? You do, and it's spinning with you. Can, can okay, Borky, I'm holding that tight. Can Borky, okay. can Borky grab on to, very adorably onto to Greco's leg? Save me, bird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Greklos, you feel your art like your leg pulled in and you feel arms around your waist. 
I don't have wings, you moron! Then fall! Then, then it's called falling with style! Panic casts thaumaturgy on his voice, and okay. he's like, Someone get the trampoline! As you are sitting and eating your toast, Remy, you hear yes. from the sky, And you see Winter now turn her head up and point her hand up into the sky. I world? want you to roll a perception check with advantage <laughs> oh, your ability. My first roll, come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Nice, 23. Woo-hoo. You see four small forms <laughs> falling from the sky. <laughs> I, did they look alive? They look alive. They look like they're screaming. You see one form grabbing the leg of the other, spinning <laughs> around like Cirque du Soleil. So there's four of them? <laughs> You see four of them, and I've... Winter, as you turn around, Winter is already mounting her griffin. And <laughs> Avery is like eating toast. He goes, Remy, what's wrong? Look up. I see a cloud. I don't get, are you doing the weird bird thing again where you look up Just with your Just follow bird? me, trust me. Oh my God, I, but I, my, this is good job. Okay, Gregory, come on, let's go. And you watch as Gregory just uh, mounts his, his griffin. Who is Gregory? Who's Gregory? Who's my new best friend? I like him already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remy is going to hop on his griffin and Kay. fly up. Roll a handle. You roll your vehicle check with advantage for takeoff. Yeah. And I'm going to roll winter. Great. Nice, 19. Yep. For winter. That's good for Avery. And Gregory not actually had the best takeoff. All right. You fly up and you feel the rush and beat of your griffin's wings as the wind blows past you. You see as Avery pulls down her goggles as well as winter and Gregory's flowing mane of hair just (laughs) wobbles behind him beautifully like a L'Oreal commercial. Uh, The four of you, you're spinning and screaming and death is imminent. You see now the ground coming into clearer and clearer view. Um, if any of you guys want to, you can roll perception checks with disadvantage. Okay. Hey, I guess. Okay, by the way, for the purposes of this, have we all grabbed onto Greckles at this point? Um, that's up to other players <laughs> if they want to grab onto Greckles. <laughs> it's I the just only... love the image of everybody grabbing the flightless bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big five for me. Five, right. okay. Perception uh, for perception. me. Ten, okay, not bad. Ten. That oh. is Ooh, uh, 15. 15. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to pull my thing up because I had to reload again. Perception check, you said? Yes. Uh, yep. Disadvantage. Dis- Dang it. Disadvantage. We're falling, yeah. buddy. <clears throat> yeah, you got a lot of other Turn. things on your mind. Uh, uh, na- uh, nat 20. That's so much fun. <clears throat> Uh, as, as now Greckles, Borky has clambered onto you and covered your face with his elbow just screaming. Ah! And Task, you, you are meant for the ground. You are not meant for the sky. You are flipping and twirling. Panic as you are like your jacket is like rushing behind you, flapping in the wind. And your hair is probably looking very nice, but you're going to die. <laughs> and I'm free. <laughs> I'm glad free somebody went for Tom Petty. Free falling. Quick, find inspiration for a new song from this experience. You see four forms rushing towards you. Uh, Remy, as you're being led, uh, Avery is now taking the lead with the riders. And as these four forms shoot past you, because they're falling very fast, you watch as Avery dips her griffin back and begins to also descend to catch up with the falling forms. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay. You begin to fall and you begin to follow these falling forms and you see... A giant orc currently clinging on to another Kenku for his dear life. You see a tiefling staring right at you, and you see a kobold. What is Tass doing in this circumstance, actually? Uh, <laughs> Task is freaking the ever-loving fuck out. So you know how everyone's just like, why is it Tass freaking out about the god? That's not the thing that's freaking him out. This is bringing back horrid memories of harpy attacks at his home. He's screaming the ever-loving fuck out right now. As you're screaming, Task, you see riding on a smaller griffin a white kobold wearing goggles. And she's falling backwards on her griffin and just like nonchalant like this is just normal she kind of tilts her head at you and just stares at you as you're just like ah, ah like screaming and she's just like huh and then she reaches out a hand to you grab grab please all right you, you grab? grab and she pulls you onto the back of the griffin you just scramble and grab her by the waist so, so i want i want you to now just imagine task grabbing on ah, okay I, looks down there's a giant bird 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watch uh, Remy as Avery swings over and takes a look at each person and then sees Panic goes, oh, and grabs him. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Panic, panic, panic like, like Yoshi legs over to her, just... <laughs> She happily grabs you by your, 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 I assume you have a shirt on, correct? Yes. She grabs well, you by new. the cuff of your it's shirt. Prob it's probably open now because it's more like a robe shirt, yeah. but yeah. She, she grabs you by the cuff of your shirt and she, she brings you forward in front of her, actually. Huh. And she huh. grabs you with one arm and holds the reins with the other. Huh. And uh, Remy, you see now the, the, the bird and you see the orc screaming, flipping around. Do I... <laughs> Do something, Krakos! <laughs> do I do I have you idiots? Do I have faith that Gregory, with probably the bigger Griffin, can handle this giant creature? Oh, uh, roll an intelligence check. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Bird oh. person. Seventeen. Ah, Gregory's got this. Oh, okay. Then I'll go save the bird, and as I'm scooping down, I'm gonna yell over to Avery. You know this is specious. <laughs> oh come on! <sighs> uh, Greg, he's gonna, he's you gonna hold out a hand for the bird. All right. <laughs> I I reach back to to grab. Okay. All right, you grab talons. Grab uh, talons. <laughs> Borky, you also feel talons on your back. Two ah! earthen talons ah. just grab you by the shoulders. <laughs> And as you turn up to look at your savior, you see, like, you ever got watch Spongebob where they have those super detailed pictures yes, yes. of, like, the face? <laughs> you see a cleft chin, long-haired, Fabio-looking guy who's just like, uh -huh. And he grabs <laughs> you with his griffin and pulls you from Greckles as Remy, you pull Greckles can onto your own griffin. Can Borky make the face back? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Ah, he's he's one of them PC gamers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, what did you say, Eugene? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh my god, I love filthy I love casual. <laughs> filthy casual. <laughs> Is it a charisma check that you said? Yeah, roll a charisma check real real quick. I, I've never wanted to roll so badly. I oh. <laughs> Where's Chris? Oh. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, oh, that's, a, that's a charisma save. That was a charisma save. Yeah, char charisma, oh, okay. charisma check. Charisma check, sorry. Great Eight charisma nonetheless. Check. <laughs> can I Borky's put, looking real. Borky thing ever. Can, can Borky have one eye going one way and one eye going another way? Because he has vertigo. Yeah, and, like... and your, gum, your gums are flapping in the breeze. You look like a, like you look like a Boston Terrier on like a motorcycle. There it we is go. Not charming. But, but it should be hand painted nonetheless. <laughs> yep, it's hand painted nonetheless. Um, Remy, as you are bringing these civilians down to the to the earth. Um, I want you to roll another Griffin riding check for the landing here, all as right. they're all still like, Task, you're still screaming, right? Oh yeah. Uh, hey. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll Winter's reaction. So that me. means I do a superhero pose, right, with a 23? Oh, uh, you 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 like come in for the landing, and you do like a barrel roll, like an actual barrel roll, as you come in for the landing with style. Oh yeah. And you do a running, and and as you're descending, Task, Winter reaches back and smacks you. <laughs> Just like it's not like like a slap across the face. It's like knock it off. Like stop screaming. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna roll insight. Okay. Oh man. Thirteen. Thirteen. You're you're too busy falling. And then they're also wearing goggles, so it's kind of hard to read. Yes, their so, 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 calm down. Mm, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Uh, you feel bork porky. Actually, you know, I should roll. I gotta roll Gregory's as well. Oh, Gregory. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Stop messing this up, Gregory. <laughs> uh, panic. You, you have a gentle landing. It is very courteous. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Griffin comes to a running stop. Um, Task, as you're riding on the back with Winter, she got a natural 20. She nice. brings up her, like, as you're about to reach the ground, you see the sweet embrace of the earth. She rears up her griffin, and it goes back up into the air, <laughs> does a full-on spin, a flip, and then comes back down like a roller coaster. And then it brings you back in. I want you to roll, what would this even be? For, actually, it's a fear thing. Roll, roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> wisdom saving throw? Okay. Yeah. That one, that one. 
Nat 20. Oh, that's oh. Right. <clears throat> as, as she does this, you're like, you're scared, you're scared. This is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> this is actually kind of neat, and the screaming kind of becomes like, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Yeah! Kind of, yeah. <laughs> the A's uh, become O's. And in a way, you always get the sense she's trying to get you to kind of enjoy this sensation. Like, this is flying. This is fun. And she brings you in for a landing, kind of like a, uh, um, a drifting landing as her griffin's back claws slide across the dirt, kicking up mud. And Porky Gregory is not gentle. <laughs> you get about 10 feet off the ground. He just drops you. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and I want you to roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. Yay, I'm loving this. <laughs> dexterity saving throw. You've, you've made us all roll like the worst, thing, like our oh, worst stealth. A six. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, it's not that bad. As you take in a mouthful of grass and dirt and rock, you take two points of, of falling damage. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so and Gregory lands in front of the rising sunset, flips his hair, looks at you and goes, oh. Mm, how much ram do you have? Okay, can, can, Bork, can, Bork, can Borky literally hold up his fist and just do that Mega Man pose from the Guts of Ass video? <laughs> <laughs> Also, absolutely. Is, is he just an Oni and G character at this point? <laughs> no, have you, have you guys ever uh -huh. seen that? What there's that one animation uh, with the two dudes, like the guy with the sword and the mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember, that's actually kind of close to yeah. what he looks like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show uh, it to you later. Yeah, it's per that's actually the perfect picture with the cleft chin and everything. Yeah, um, good stuff. That's good stuff. You that's guys stuff. are all on the ground now, and task is you're you're on the ground. Uh, Winter, who's the cobalt? <laughs> takes off her goggles, and you see the most piercing, like, green, leaf green eyes you've ever seen. And she's pure white. And she just stares at you. And what are the rest of you guys doing? Panic, you're you're with Avery. You're with a red-haired... You're with a red-haired woman. Her hair is kind of tightly put into, like, a really messy bun. And she's wearing her goggles, and she lifts them up, and she puts them on her forehead, and she rests her hands on her hips and looks at you. Oh. <sighs> Oh. oh, this has been a crazy day. <laughs> and Panic uh, slides off of the griffin, kind of wobbly, like, can I roll myself a constitution save? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go right ahead. I think I know what's happening. You gag a little bit as you slide off uh, the griffin. Yeah, I just... just uh... Turn turn away for a little bit just to just to go, <clears throat> can, uh, and then turns back. Oh, come on now, love. Better out than in. Nope. I'm good. Borky I'm good. comes up behind Panic and slaps him on the back. We made it! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, so, so, so... Covers his mouth, like, a little bit, and then runs <laughs> around a corner to go throw up. So, um. so, Remy, you see this kind of scraggly um, Grackle Kenku wrapped up in robes you've probably not seen before just all of a sudden look at you with all seriousness and just screams out, where are we? Well, uh, that's a bit of a heavy question, but uh, you're south of Avalast. How far south? Fairly far south by the settlements. Oh, we gotta get back to Alavast before they kill her. Kill who? You just fell out of the sky. Oh, I, think I should be asking you what happened. <laughs> Uh, he he Greggles pulls out the picture that he that he that he sketched of Orin. We literally just got back from this. We have to get back to Alavast immediately. Uh, uh, you're going look, to have to give us a second. Oh, looks like you got the crazy one, Remy. I got the cute one. Uh, you always get the cute one. I Greg do. Crazy. Greggles Greg shoots Greggles shoots really hard looks at all three of you guys and just is like He's going to kill her if we don't get back. But, sorry, what? He's... No, no, ta I'm doing that in character. Tash, like, snaps back. Sorry, what? <laughs> Boric's going to kill Sully if we don't get back soon. Well, Bork, you know this name, Remy. You know the name. Bork. He's the captain of the guard in the city. Uh, w wait a second. How do you know the captain of the guard? Oh, that's an even longer story that we don't have time. He's really mad at us. I mean, why? Avery jumps off the griffin, and she steps over to you, Greckles, and she puts a hand on your shoulder. 
Look, love, no need stressing. If you need a message sent to Alabast, we can get the fastest pigeon you want. Are you not aware of what's going on in the city? No, we've kind of been out here for a while. Perhaps you can enlighten did, us. Did you did you not see the eclipse? Yes. Oh yeah, everyone saw the eclipse. Rather that, strange, but that was uh, that it was a giant uh, eye. As as you guys hear a giant eye, Remy, you hear it was a uh, like uh, he just stopped, like his brain just stopped. <laughs> Russ, you hear what he says. Actually, every I think he's the dumb one. Yeah, I'm picking up on that one too. Oh, what did Winter get? Did Winter get like a smart one? I mean, it's a kobold, which is kind of nice. I think that's Winter's first kobold that she's ever seen. Yes, but does it actually speak? That's the question, yes. Do you I speak? just spoke, genius! Oh, oh. I, that was you. <laughs> oh, goody. He's the, <laughs> he's the spunky one. The spicy one. Because he's uh, red, spicy, guess it? Spicy, yes. Spicy. Yes. One. yes. I wonder. <laughs> Task holds his face, but then looks down at, looks down at what he's like resting upon and it's just like. Whoa. Lush, lush, lush grass. You see trees, oak trees, lush, lush grass and rocks. It's very, very plentiful woodlands, and it's 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 humid, but it's it's nice. Okay. And you do hear off to the distance a sound of mulling and weapons clanging and and other sort of things. Look, uh, if did uh, Task notice how uh, how like blanked out everyone else was when they when Panic tried to explain? Yeah, are you picking up that this? Whoa, 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 whoa! So, stop, 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 stop! Full stop, full stop, guys. Here, uh, for uh, the guys, full stop. Uh, the 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 Discord's falling apart right now. Uh, so we're gonna. Can someone else rehost? All right. Well, one second, guys. We'll be right. We'll be right back. Is it okay now? Hello. 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 Oh, we are. It, it was a hiccup. It was a Discord hiccup. Wow. Okay. Okay. Gross. No worries. No worries. <laughs> what? No okay. What in back God's back name? To... Okay. So. So. Yeah, uh, you, you get the, you get the sense that with Liza's promise in the attic when you first met them, that whatever happens is kind of between you guys and the people who know of lies. Tass and... looks to everyone. Tass looks to all the other guys. I believe that's uh, our friends upstairs' little way of telling us that we shouldn't be talking about it. Right, friends in the right. Right. Look, the uh, point is, Tass looks to the other four. Bork has someone, I don't want to say hostage, but he has someone who is innocent of a crime whom he might deem guilty that we need to get back and stop him. So how fast is that bird you got that you can send a message? Uh, excuse me, and she pats her griffin. What? Look, I don't know who you are, and you're not ordering us around. I... We belong to the military. We're a mercenary group hired by Balfour Belton. So if you want to borrow us, you must speak to him. We work for the city. Task holds up his certificate. You might have heard of us. And she, she grabs it and she stares. Oh, yes, I see you've got a few favors. No, oh, yes, you've done a job for Bork Bronzebank. Remy, Twice. what do you think? Hmm. I mean, they <clears> seem <throat> interesting, to say the least. They seem wounded. Look at the bird. He looks like he's almost L dead. Yes. Look, all look, the more reason to get back to Alavash. Uh, when we yes, left no. it, it was under... Mm. Some kind of a monster lockdown. We've got to get back there. We've, oh, this we've, dis out? we've discovered something, and let's just say that it's bigger than you could possibly imagine, and we need to get back to Alavast as soon as we can. Bor Borky holds up his hands real fast. How long ago was the uh, eclipse? Oh, what'd you say, Remy? About two days ago? It's about two days. It's hard what? to tell. But the two we've been days. out for two days! Oh, no, that's not good. We did not lock the inn. Well, if if Brock was going to kill her, he probably would have done it by now. You don't know that. Still, we need to get back. We need to get back. Can we see the city from here? No, you just see grass and... Task looks over to the kobold. 
Have you received any news, like, of any troubles from the city? Like, any call to action? Winter just kind of rears back, like, oh my god, he's talking to me, and then looks to you, Remy, just, like, wide-eyed. Uh, well, we're out here trying to quell some trouble. I'm not quite sure what's happening in the city. <sighs> I don't- I don't think lies would throw us back into the brink of utter disaster like that. Even even with her dwindling power, I don't think she would throw up chuck us out out of the city two days later without us having to worry about something. Out of character, real fast. Pretty much when Tash was saying that was just like just a bunch of random. Yeah, language. literally, literally, he was just like, I can't, uh, I can't, uh, it's really weird, Remy. You're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> and like even Avery like walks over and grabs Winter, kind of like pulls her away, like get away from the crazy person, <laughs> like. <sighs> Okay. But to you, to the rest of you, it would all make sense. Okay, okay. Remy, I'm looking straight in your face. <laughs> straight in your face. Straight in your beak. We're beak to beak right now, okay? Oh, snap. Now nah, it's real. Be beak docking. I have a hundred gold with your name on it if you can get us back to Alavast right now. What do I need with a hundred gold? <laughs> oh. Look, love, maybe we love. should take you into town or the camp or introduce I think, them to I someone. I think we should take them to the camp, and I think this one needs to see a cleric. I think they've hit their head or the air has gotten to them. In the meantime, yeah, could we send that pigeon? How fast is the pigeon? It's quite fast. In yeah. fact, if you talk to Bell for Bolton, he might let you use a falcon. Uh, no offense, Remy. Uh, yes, thank you. No, mm -hmm. uh, a message is better than no message. We may as well take that for now. Mm. Certainly. Um, you know what, honestly, and she pats the griffin, but the griffin's just like, <gasps> like just the sudden mounting and just like craziness and dismounting. <laughs> I think we should walk, Remy. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Gregory, we should follow us. Yes. Gregor, she turns and Gregory's already like riding his griffin towards the thing, just <laughs> bouncing along the way, like totally like royalty on horseback, like side saddle. And it's, she just rolls her eyes like, oh my God. For the record, you should get off your high, Griffin. You weren't supposed to drop the orc. <laughs> yes! Borky crosses his arms and frowns at him. I don't care for him. Task turns to Winter and holds out his arm for the kobold salute. Task. She tilts her head and reaches and touches your chest. Boop. Unorthodox. And she, holds, she holds it there and like Avery just like leans to you, Remy, goes, is that a kobold thing? I don't know. I don't know either. It's kind of weird. But it's the first one she's seen. So, hmm. who knows? Uh, <clears throat> love, and she kind of walks up to you, uh, Task. Uh, you have to mind Winter. She um, she doesn't talk, really. Um, my, oh, I you apologize. Were there. You were there, Remy, when you found her, right? Yes, uh, six months ago, I believe, in the forest. She hasn't said a word. Hmm. Rides like the best of us, though. She took Where to it like a natural. She... Oh, boy. Uh, Task looks to her. Where did you learn to tame one of these things? Iron Oath is riddled with these things, and they kill us by the dozen. Oh, the taming's up to me. And, like, Avery, like, leans on a tree. Where's Panic? Is he still vomiting in the woods? No, he's he's <laughs> he's there. He's, he's, he's finished wiping his mouth and spitting she, and stuff. She shoots you two finger guns, like... <laughs> <laughs> he... he shoots finger crossbows right back at her just <laughs> <laughs> so um <clears throat> i do want to try one thing i apologize task will look to winter one last time and ask her can you hear me in draconic she nods ah. oh she understands draconic interesting oh, we're learning more and more every day well, I say we don't wait. I want to finish breakfast, if you don't mind me. Oh, we should yes, probably tell Balfour about this, and I can already tell that the witch is going to come up and yell at us for doing an unmarked flight again. Let's not bring that up. I yeah. don't want to hear her voice. Oh, she's going to bring it up. Oh, there's a witch? Borky says under his breath. Not oh, an yes. actual witch. Oh, That's thank probably God. Probably a better word to describe her that I'm blanking on. Rhymes with witch, though. Mm. Switch. No. Close. Close. Yeah. You guys are walking at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, 
<laughs> Go on, Remy. I was going to say, how did the four of you start falling out of the sky? Did you fall off your griffins? It It is a long yes. story. Yes, yes, we did. We all were sharing a giant griffin, and then, uh, and then one of us said something bad. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'll ta- I'm going to have Tass take this one. <laughs> you you we, just we, jump in, jump in, jump in. Yep, put yep. The, put, Tass, the, put the hand yeah. on the mouth. <laughs> yep, hand on the mouth to Borky. We were actually one of the test pilots for a new mode of transportation in Alavast, and unfortunately, that test failed. Oh, that sounds about right. All those mm. wizards and things, right, Remy? Uh, nothing beats a griffin, in my opinion. Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Besides, a oh, pegasus, maybe, but... Perhaps. Hard to train a pegasus. Getting one, yes. Oh, God, hard to catch. They can even outfly a dragon. Although, if <laughs> you could train it, it would be you. Oh, stop flattering me. Well, you're right. Your head is big enough as it is. Hey, watch it. <laughs> the guards in Elevest fly griffins, as I've heard. Yes, and who are you, do you think trains are you out, them? Are you, are you, you're the trainers. You're not guards yourselves. Well, my father is the trainer of the Alavastian army griffins. I just train my own private ones, and that's how we kind of got together. Isn't that right, Remy? Indeed. She's the whole reason I'm here. Hmm. Taught me to ride and everything. As you guys walk through the forest, you emerge through some bushes, and you see a war camp spread out. And you see uh, warriors training, cleaning weapons, mulling about, eating breakfast. And there's a lot of them, probably about 200, 300 people almost. And you see giant oh. tents with flags of a actually rolled knowledge religion, except for you, Remy. You know what this is, but I'll have everybody else roll knowledge religion. Alrighty. Uh, Ooh, 17. 17. 17. Oh, not bad. Mm-hmm. Ah, no. <laughs> Fourth. Knowledge religion. Time for some fun borky rolls. And nope. A zero. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, everybody. Wow, yeah. Taka, you're, you're right. Gray, bro. It's, you're right. That it's was a fun. camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sure is a camp. They even have a campfire. That um, flag is blue. <laughs> it's a red flag too. Like, hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> um, task. You, winter is just staring at you. Like it, it. It's not like a creepy. Like I'm gonna stalk you when you sleep. It's more like a quizzical look. Like, this is like, it's almost like when you met Mel, like the sort of behavior you had when you met Mel. Um, and <laughs> as she's kind of tilting your head, you just don't, you're like, okay, there's a camp. I'm like, okay, stop looking at me. Uh, Greckles and Panic, you know this sigil. You've seen it actually um, throughout the city. It's the sigil of Vetrion, the god of fighting. And you know, in particular, Vetrion is part of the Alabastian army. Ooh. What, he himself? No, Vetrion, like followers of Vetrion tend to be members of army. God like, of, okay, I'm gonna write that down. That sounds cool. Borky will like Oh, that. here's actually a good thing. Task notices all the weaponry about, like stands still for a quick second, and starts patting himself down, trying to find the bow. You realize that in the final moments with Lies, before still Havity smashed you guys, it did shatter from your hand as Lies was hit. I am completely without a weapon. How do we spell Vetrion? Uh, I will type it into chat. Thank you so much. Vetrion. Right there. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. you know, panic, panic leans over to, to Task and Borky and like like huddles the group together just a little bit. He's just like, watch out for these guys. Don't don't make any weird movements. These these guys are badasses. I mean, they can train giant birds, so like... No, no, the, the warriors in the camp. Oh, they are all—they are all followers of the god of fighting. What? What? Is it, hmm. Okay, so we like we met like a bunch of them. There's one that likes to fight. Yes. Ooh. No, Borky. It's not just that he yes. likes to fight. Mm. He is fighting. He's the embodiment who, of fighting. Who, he, oh, okay. Because I was gonna say, if he is fighting, I was gonna say who. But okay, interesting, interesting. I'm in. I'd like to know more. <laughs> I'm I'm unfortunately I don't like this coming out of my mouth. I'm kind of on the same side as Borky. Mm, interesting. What? You hush, you hush. Shh. You hush right now. Thanks. I am a red scale kobold. I am of a warrior's okay. tribe. This is actually rather interesting. Well let's just be observant and just not look like nerds. <laughs> so they all, Borky nods and starts walking forward. <laughs> Tash looks down at himself, kind of like disappointed that he doesn't have his weaponry anymore. Way ahead of you. 
Avery turns to Yuremi as like this this football huddle is also moving towards the camp at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> she turns to her and goes, they seem like quite real people, don't you think? Why are they whispering? I don't know. They, they look like friends, at least, and they haven't tried to stab us. So, you know, that's a bit different than the fire giants, if you ask me. That's very true. Of course, that'd be their first mistake. Oh, you guys we, fought Borky Pops. Do we hear this? Yeah, yeah, do we hear this? Uh, do you want this conversation to be a secret, Remy? Not Because really. Avery's loud as hell, so. Yeah, not really. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. the about us. Oh. Yeah, you guys, you guys hear this. They're, they're oh, not okay. even hiding it. Oh, you guys fought, have, you guys fought Except fire for the giants? person who just rolled. Chris, you don't hear it. <laughs> you guys I assume a, that's why you are out here. You guys fought a fire giant, really? Well, we're more of a uh, survey, reconnaissance. We're a mercenary group. We don't actually, so, well, we take orders from the army, but uh, uh, you, you know what we do, Remy. We just kind of uh, do what we can. I've been meaning to ask this. How much of it is fire and how much of it is giant? Well, considering the size, a lot of giant. Mm -hmm. Considering the fire, a lot of fire. Okay, okay. Okay, it's not what I expected. Hey, Monty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull my half of Lies mask. How is it, it looking? It's cracked right down through the middle. Like from the the top like corner of one of the ear. Actually, you know what? I will draw it in the main menu yeah. here Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> for clarity. Sorry, I, I laughed so hard I actually like kind of like blew my voice out a little bit that I keep <laughs> clearing okay. my throat. That was that was fun as hell. My God. You guys make your way into the camp and people are kind of mulling about and they kind of give you weird looks. And Avery turns to you and he goes, I think I'm going to get to Captain Belton. I think that seems wise, considering the circumstances. Um, why don't you give them some food? They look like they haven't eaten for days. At least the um, the bird doesn't. He's rather... They can wait, be, wait know. a minute. Oh, yes. Balthor Bolton? Yes. The leader He's of the Alavast army. He's here. Well, this is an army. Why wouldn't the leader of the army be with his army? Uh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought this was just like an outpost. No, this is the army. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. You guys are on the front right now. Ooh, you get oh, oh, God! Good. Lies, why did you do this? White noise, I'm... I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Suck, it. Suck it, nerds. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's what I didn't want to be assumed to be. <laughs> Avery pulls down her goggles to her neck and she gives you like a little mini salute, Remy, and then gives one last final look to the two crazies and just kind of like, okay, and then runs off. Winter dismounts her griffin um, and like just keeps staring at you, Task, and then stares up to, to you, Remini, Remini, huh? Remy, <laughs> and, and tilts her head, like looking like, look at this guy. Like, look, like, look at this kobold. <laughs> uh, Remy's going to look at Task and then back to her and then nod. And she nods too. And then he's going to salute her and give a quick bow. She turns around, gives one final look, and leads her griffin to a uh, a trough of water. Once uh Task will actually shout out to her. For what it's worth, I've never seen a white scale before. You must have very interesting stories. If you would if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to pick your brain about some things. She opens her mouth and then closes it and has like kind of a look to her like, uh, right. <laughs> like, um, with paper, with paper, Tass like just like rolls his eyes with paper and pen. She kind of, she kind of tilts her head and shrugs. You do notice her features, her ears are shorter. Like they're, they're more like trimmed down, like, um, and her snout is slightly rounded a little bit. Right. Um, she doesn't have long ears and, and long sort of appendages. Her tail even seems kind of small. Uh, but she's wearing rider's gear as well, um, which kind of hides her body a little bit. Um, right. But definitely the, the piercing green eyes are definitely like, like almost like owl-esque in a way, just piercing right through you. And she turns and she kind of nods a little confusedly, like, how is that going to work? And, and leaves leaving you guys with Remy and you see Gregory in front of a mirror, like with his Griffin currently eating out of a, out of a food bowl. But by the way, his Griffin has like a lovely crest, like a cockatoo. Oh my um, God. And Gregory's like brushing his hair and looking through and like tilting his head side to side, putting can, his hand on his can, can, like, can, can Borky walk up to him real fast? Is that okay? If Borky just... <laughs> sure. Remy, uh -oh. you watch as the orc begins to walk towards Gregory. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your name's Gregory, right? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Forky purses his lips and nods. Forky puts out his hand. Name's Bulky. Thanks for the save. He pulls out of his pocket a handkerchief, quickly wipes your hands just to get it kind of clean, and then takes your hand and shakes it. That's good. Borky takes the handkerchief and wipes his ha hand off afterwards as well and walks away. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Like, he just, you watch as Gregory puts his, like, his fingers, like, from his hand onto his just like, oh, girl, he didn't. And, like, just like, Oh. oh, stop it, Borky, stop. You all see Remy visibly laughing, oh. just trying not to burst out. Bor oh. Borky walks away, walks back to the room and says, there, now he knows where we stand. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm done my bit now. <laughs> oh my God, I love you. <laughs> all right. Remy, what are you doing with these losers? Uh, oh. Do I know if there's a good spot to bring them to get food that other soldiers won't get pissed off about because I'm dipping into the rations? Uh, best place to go because you're cool with the cookie is to hang out closest table closest to the kitchen. Best right. place to go. You four should follow me. All right. Okay. I'm going to lead them to said table. Cool. All right. You guys are immediately served up a delicious potato and leek soup as well as some herb herb infused bread with some butter. Very little butter, but it's a meal and it's delicious. Borky inhales uh, it. Damn. <laughs> Remy's gonna turn to the cook who brought it out and go, um, uh, if you could do me a favor, make sure Barotha doesn't hear about this. Mm. Uh Cookie, who is a cat, he's a he's a tabaxi. Mm. Um he looks like he looks like kind of like a tuxedo y cat. He's got a lovely tall uh chef hat and an apron. He goes, Yes. And he waddles away. Oh, yes. best character. Yas? Did you say Yas? Did he just... Yas. Yes. 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 Damn. Yes. The army eats like this? On a good day, yes. Oh. Mm. Borky's standing there. It's all gone. A blanket had disappeared. I require more. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Does it look like there's any Thank you, bird free food? food? Thank you. There is food. almost like there's a hundred person lineup almost oh. at this point. Mm. Like like so. Cookie likes you guys because you guys are cool and you bring him things. So Cookie's like, I'll hook you up. But then after that point, you're kind of pressing your luck, you think. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay. We do have rations, guys. Yeah. At least we should. Uh, yeah. Remy is going to actually, having said that, pull out one of his rations and slide it over to Borky. Thank you. If you're still hungry, this should help. Blinking, it's gone again. It's been a long day. <laughs> in uh, in co in contrast, you. you guys see, Greckles isn't doing so well. He's he's having actually a hard time eating. He's really distraught. His plumage is puffed, is kind of puffed up all over the place. He's not looking so hot. Do we all notice this? Uh, you would you would it. definitely recognize the puffed plumage mm. being a Kenku yourself. You there, Kenku? I don't believe I caught your name. Greggles. You seem worse for wear. <sighs> He's gonna kill a Remy. Kill who? <sighs> when we first got into Alavast, we, we ran into a, a, a young girl in armor trying to hide from the United Clergy of... Bad, 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 United... bad, 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 bad people. No. Okay. No? Um, what do I need to do to slap his hand? Um, do, I, do I need to attack? Do I need I to prefer, jump? Like, he, he just is Borky. Are you gonna resist the hand slapping? Borky can take the hand. All right. Yeah. You slap. You just. You just like stop it. Like a mother with the spoon. Ta just Task stop. will look over to Borky. It's best we not withhold any information and explain what's going on. Okay. I mean, the, I mean, the, they already know what's going on. So I got this, guys. Her name was Sully. We found out that she was an Asmar of Orin. I, uh, I felt kind of pity on her, and I, I took her in. The, the, the clergy did terrible things to her, branded her, tortured her, ever since childhood. I just wanted to look after her. It's one of the only good things my life was for, and now it might all be for naught. Last time we saw Brorik, he wasn't doing so well. I think he was crying, rocking back and forth as... The eclipse happened. 
I, I don't even know what's going to happen to her now. You believe and I'm just, now I'm just, and now I'm just sitting here wasting my time. <sighs> I can assure you we'll do what we can to help your friend, but you're a long way from Halavast. I guess I can't help that. Once the captain is here, we'll alert him of your situation. I'm sure he'll be able to help you. What is this captain like? Pretty straightforward. If you've ever been in the military and dealt with anyone in a position of power, I'm sure you'll know exactly what he's like. I was once a quartermaster. I know full well. Well, then think of him as a superior of yours. He'll be straightforward with you as long as you tell him the truth. Of course. You hear an eruptious laughter around one of the tents. Just like, ah, 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 ah. Percep oh, perception he's... check. Sure. Yes, please. 21. He's also I. He's also Isla's oh. husband. He is also Isla's husband, yeah. And you see now Avery walking with him around a tent, and he looks like this. This is the command, a Avery the command. This, this is, the... is the leader of the Alabastian army, and also Isla's husband. Also Borton no, is I, the guy. I, again, who is, I, who is Isla, sorry? Isla was Isla... like, you could see ghosts. Yeah, the leader of the Hoketh clergy in Alabast. Oh, right, the one who spooked Borky, got it. Yeah. Sorry. Here we go. Oh, there he is. Yo! Oh, look. Nice. The main yeah. on this man. What's going right. on, Asgore? Isn't it great? <laughs> What's going on, Asgore? Oh, I wasn't going to say it. Oh, man. That, oh, man. That, that actually was not one of the references that I used for him, but that's okay. Our leader is Goat Dad. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He... Hello, my name is Bal for Paul. This is the father of the. This, this, <laughs> oh is, this, this, is, this is the grand. This this is the mate. This is the patriarch of the Armstrong family for generations. So, God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he comes around the corner and he's just like, "Oh, Avery, that's preposterous! People falling out of the sky. Why, that's the funniest thing I've seen all day." And he stops and he sees all of you eating. Did my perception check hear anything prior to that? No, he was just like Avery. You heard Avery just like, "Oh well, yeah." So we got these these guys out of the sky, and he just started laughing at it like it was the silliest thing. Curses my net twenty. I'm okay. sorry. I'll let you. I'll pay that forward later. To be honest, that's kind oh. of a okay twenty that wouldn't probably get you too much. Um, Belfer Bolton walks up to the table and and he rests his hands on his hips and he looks to all of you and he's very tall. He's probably about he's probably about the same height as you, Borky, but he mm. is he is built for fighting. Tass stands at attention with his arms behind his back. What's wrong with that one? He looks at you, Task. Does it think it's part of my army? It's attempting to show respect, sir. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> ah, Balfour Bolton, and he salutes. Leader of the Alavastian army and member of the council. I heard that you um fell out of the sky. You would be correct. It was a hell yes. of a thing. It really was. Well, we certainly do not want civilians here at the moment, though we are enjoying this uh, ceasefire. I'm sure, Remy, you agree? Yes, it's been a welcome calm before an inevitable storm, I'm sure. But, oh, well, certainly. And we're not technically civilians, though. We are, we are proprietors. Yes, we, oh. work for the, we, work for, we work for the city of Alabast. Well, everyone works for the city of Alabast. If you're not part of Alabast if you're not helping Alabast. That's simply the way it is. Oh, that's nice. You must be ticket holders, then. May I see them? Yep. Tass gives it to him. Yeah, pass yeah. them out. Borky almost mm -hmm. pulls out the dark contract accidentally and then puts it back. Nope. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Borky from the boy. I'm going to roll a perception for him. No! You... <laughs> and no, he doesn't see it. He's too busy. Oh. He takes the... <laughs> oh, I woke you up there, Zeno. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's well played. Yeah, he, uh, he he takes the contracts and he, he skins through it and sees your, your past jobs and whatnot. He goes... Oh, Abacus! Oh, she's a stick in the mud. <laughs> yeah, she's if she's really mean. I don't like her. Porky just. Well, she... You only you only don't like her because she turned you into a turtle. Okay, she what? turned you into a turtle. She, she turned me into a rabbit. Oh my oh. God, Porky hugs him. Transformation Borky, buddies. Can, can, Borky, they hug. can Porky just hug him? <laughs> Transformation <laughs> buddies. They hug. They embrace in a manly embrace. <laughs> Oh, Tass Tas gets more at ease seeing this. Just like, why am I doing this? Pa panic turns to Remy with an incredulous face. Just, this is the leader of the Alabaster army. <laughs> uh, he, I, I did my best to keep his 
Mm. Oh, and I see you've worked for mm. Brock as well. Mm. Oh, you, nice see, you see, you see, Greckles kind of ruffle his feathers a little bit at hearing that. Ah, oh, good-natured man, good head on his shoulders. A bit stressed though. I think he needs to, you know, get with a lady. <laughs> and he blinks his eyes. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh my uh, lord! I hope he, he's just, I hope he avoids one or two for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my wife, of course, of course. Oh. Yes. oh. I know that he was her escort for the festival, and I know that he was supposed to marry her, and it was all awkward and all that, but I appreciate Whoa. his help. This guy's uh, a loud I mouth. This, this, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot here, and I'm just, I'm happy for all of it. Task <laughs> looks over to Greckles at that mention. Anyway, <laughs> civilians you are, and civilians should go back to your homes. Oh, yes, that, that's, that's what we've been trying to do, actually. Excellent. This is actually the perfect opportunity. Um, Remy. Remis. Yes, sir. This would actually be an excellent opportunity for you. I have a job for you as well, and I do not want you to fly on your griffin. I need a ground reconnaissance on your way back to Alavast because we want to ship in those new trebuchets that we've been working on. Uh, absolutely. Whatever you need, sir. Excellent. Hey, oh, my phone goes off because... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a new quest. Ah, I've been, I've been, uh, I just, I've been, I just got a funny been, text from my wife. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. <laughs> I've been telepathically messaged. Excellent. Yes. I would like you to, and he, he pulls out a piece of paper and he begins to skim through it like a normal person. <clears throat> I would like you are, to look. Trebuchets are truly beautiful, by the way. They need aesthetically they an amazing sea tuition. <laughs> they are, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would like you to go through the root you shall blends. Survey those, and then I'd like you to go through Humbrack Village and just poke your head in and make sure everything's okay and let them know that there's no need to be concerned. They shouldn't have to evacuate as long as all of us do not die. To be fair, sir, that's what they said about Tiedelheim, but... Oh, Tiedelheim, we tried our best and we did get many people out. That is a victory, my friend. And he grabs your shoulder and he squeezes it and gives you a shake, a reassuring shake. Yes, sir. I'll let Certainly. you know. Keep your chin up. Or the face of the army. With all due respect, sir, is there a way that I could commission payment to get a new bow? Unfortunately, mine was lost in the fall. Oh, a bow. Well, you could speak with the Fletcher and see if he's got something. I'm sure he could settle you, and certainly you do not want to continue unarmed. Anyway, Thank you, you will sir. leave. I will have you leave in the morning or so. Can Remus. We, do we still want to send that pigeon? Yes, um, we oh, do. Yes, yeah. yes. Avery mentioned a pigeon. Um, if you would like to, and he goes through and he pulls out a, a roll of paper. Whatever message you wish to have, put it here. And, and uh, who are you sending it to? Brock Bronsfang. Yeah, Brock, Brock. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Uh, then you will need this seal. So if you give me that message, I'll use this seal and it'll get to him right away. In fact, since you guys are transformation buddies, and he looks at you, Bork, he kind of <laughs> does a little bit like ah! Borky, Borky just points. Borky just points at him. Yeah. We know shop. I have a very fast falcon, no offense, Remy, that we can use to send the message. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, I actually have a personal message that I need to send. Uh, I am going to cast Illusionary Script. Okay. I am going to write me a letter. Okay, it's very yourself. small. It's more like, it's more like a, um, what's the word? Uh, telegram, in a way. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you can write down when I was born this day. No, no, evil. no. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm just, I'm just going to write down. And uh, could illusionary script work for drawings? Illusionary script. That's a good question. Can you like, click that's it? Probably, that's probably going to be a, that's probably going to be a DM call. Cause I never could, saw it in the list. Could, but... could you click the spell so I can read it? I actually can't because my, my sheet never got upgraded. <laughs> I Why? still I still have while laughter. While you're looking oh, at it. Oh, okay. Shoot. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Wait, what is yeah, the name sure. of the spell? I could probably find it. Illusionary script. Uh, it's, a it's, a a... First level, it's a first level illusionary spell. You're sending okay. a tweet. I am sending a tweet. No, it's actually it's actually a DM because only she will be able to read it. Okay. Yeah. All right, here Ooh. we go. Uh, you write on parchment paper or some other subtle writing material and view it with a potent illusion that lasts for the duration. It lasts 10 days. To you and any creatures you designate when you cast a spell, the writing appears normal, written in your hand, and conveys whatever meaning you intend when you wrote the text. To all others, the writing appears if it were written in an unknown or magical script when it is unintelligible. All right. 
Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely do that. Uh, we will take a bio break, though, it sounds like. Okay. Bio break. Sure, why not? I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, bio I'll get, break. I'm going to get me a, a more to drink. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Some, I'm gonna suck on this water some more. Yeah, I real fast actually. Could you go, Nadine? You still there? You have, are you heading out? Yeah, I'm. I'm here. I'm can here. Can you tell me the names of the? Can you go over those names of the places that uh, Remy just got? Uh, just got. Uh... Well, you'll, you'll learn about them. Okay, okay, okay. I just didn't know if I should write them down. Or not. I'm trying. You to can always ask questions. I'm trying to keep mm -hmm. better. Yeah, but I'm trying to do it as Borky. <laughs> try as do, as Borky though. I got like I got to take my shots. Oh no, Borky's Borky would never know. He's like I I don't even what I uh, feel. <laughs> This this, 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 this this episode has gone a place that I had no idea it was gonna go, and I'm so happy. That's <laughs> why I was like, I didn't want anything to be like known you, going you, in. You mum, you mum the you 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 you're always quiet about this stuff. One thing you guys don't know, uh, uh, real fa real fast for everybody who watches, I'll tell you right now, we don't know anything going into shit. We knew at some point that uh, Bosco here was actually uh, going to be in the campaign at some point. That's all I knew. So, yeah. So it was really Surprise. cool. Oh yeah. No, it's it's good. I I I I can I can I can tell I can tell I can tell nonsense isn't your favorite thing. Which I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be great. At some point, you are going to yell at us, and I'm aware of it. <laughs> You're like I'm preparing for you to lose your shit, and it's fine. Oh, we should we should show the while we're on a break. I'm gonna show. Is it okay if I show the the viewers your character? What your character? No, of course like? not. How dare you show the fans Balfour the picture that Balton they totally need to see? Is also awesome, Nadine. Amazing choice of character. I, I love him okay. already. Here we go. This is what what Remy looks like. Yep. Also, shout out to uh, uh, oh my God. Star Exorcist. Star yeah, Exorcist. Did Star. She did it while well, on vacation actually, actually, uh, too. It's not, it's not thrown up here at all, Nadine. It's not on the screen at all. Oh, oh, because it's not viewable by you guys. I'm gonna give it to them right now, though. So if they want, I, to... I here we go. Let me save the changes here, and Ooh. now I'll show it to you now. There we go. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So he's about, the, he's about the same height as Greckles, then. He's he's quite tall. He's 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 very tall for a Kinku. He's six feet tall. Oh wow, that's fucking cool. Yeah, he's a big boy. Remy the Falcon. Like, like, Kinkus are like average, like five, 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 six at their tallest. So this guy's a big dude. Big I am back. Millen Ninja, thank you so much. People are, I'm really happy. By the way, the chat is loving this. And by the way, thank you so much, guys, for sticking through with us on this. Because this, this, this is, okay. by the way, everyone's saying lovely plumage, by the way. Lovely just plumage. Lo lovely plumage. Just. Lovely plumage. My boys and DM have some fun pizza payday small. Thank you so much, Legit. Oh, all the bits. I've been noticing all the bits. Holy crap, guys. You guys are giving us so much love right now. No words. Thank you so much. Once all right, I we get to eat. Once I it, return. Once is everyone back. back? Is everyone back? Yet? Is everybody back here? I will be in like two mm -hmm. seconds. Two seconds. One okay, second. run, run, run. I'm just gonna go real fast here. Real fast. Yep, I got my coffee. Had a little bio break. I'm ready to go. I should have my fruit up here, but I left it downstairs. I gotta eat my banana mm -hmm. and my. I made my bread. Also, I heard that uh, someone, a uh, certain bird's giving out a tweet. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Would that oh, make you a twit? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you guys having fun? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oodles. Excellent. Now I can murder. I'm just kidding. I Ty Boppington dies. Oh God, no. That can we? So can, can I point out that we have a bird riding a bird who saved a bird and made him ride his bird? Birdception. <laughs> what a bird demic. Bad. Oh, what? Terrible. what do you mean bad? It's me. T true, true. I'm gonna steal your duck call and duck call in your face for that comment. Whoa. Bitch, whatever. I got like twelve more in the compartment. <laughs> How many of those do you have? Like, actually have? I have two. Okay. Okay. Is everyone back now? Uh, Bosco's yeah. still getting water. I think. Okay. Well, we'll do a, we'll, we'll do a one two three sync again just because we had a break. Real well, fast. let's get let's get Bosco in on the one two yeah, three yeah, sync. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but when he gets back, when he gets back, that's what I say. That's what I say. By the way, Nadine, this is fun as fuck. Oh my god, I'm having so much goddamn fun. I'm glad the Gregory bit worked out. That's good. That's good. See, I'm, I'm super. <laughs> see, see, there are people in the chatter telling me I was totally gonna say Birdemic too. Hey, you know what's up? <laughs> oh no. All the bit. The, all, the first one is so much better. The bit love is amazing, guys. Thank you so much for swinging by and watching the Unexpectables. Is this uh, how many? Uh, just odd question for the chat. How many? For how many people? How is this the first? Is this the first live stream? I'm curious to know how many uh, this is the first live stream. 
Also, uh, I love that. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, Taka. There's just one other thing I wanted to say. I like the idea. Someone in the chat just said Zito opens up a fucking closet and it's full of duck calls. They all come out, and I just said, "Can I, can I be like fucking? Can, can I talk to you about the duck calls? I've been dying to talk to you about the duck calls all day today." <laughs> No, I just I just imagine like after the session is over, you like slink away. There's like candlelight, you slink away to your closet, you open up, and it's just like these this giant stack of duck calls and like soon. Are you telling me I'm like Helga with the fucking effigy of Arnold made of gum and it's just yes. a duck call? <laughs> it's just duck calls. It's a mountain of duck calls. Oh my like, God. There's a lot of there's a lot of first and seconds here. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Someone's been here since episode two. Nice. Oh, all right. A lot of people being... Oh, welcome back. Alrighty. Oh, okay, let's do one, two, three, sync real fast, guys. Just because... Okay. Okay. Right. One, two, three, sync. Sync. 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 Right, cool, let's move on. Alrighty. Uh, where did we leave off? Oh, oh write the uh, letters. Right yeah, your illusionary script. You can absolutely do that. Um, okay. Type to me what you're sending, I ask, is, uh, is all I ask as while, a DM. So while, you do, while you're doing that, Borky wants to bring up something real fast. Oh, uh, should we all... Should she be like, two days... Since it all happened, we should send. Can we send another bird to like Helga to tell her not to burn the place down, and that we're okay? Because if we've been gone for two days, at this point, she's probably just looking to liquidate all of our assets. That I don't think that's what's going to happen, Borky. But that still is a very good idea that we should at least let them what? know that we just, actually are stop, alive. Stop! Stop! Did you? Did you just say I have a good idea? Yes. On the rare occasion you just, do no, spout them from your mouth hole. Sh friend, you didn't say that. Just Borky closes his fist and just just memorizes hearing Tass say that it's a good idea. And then Borky <laughs> sits back and just nods. Okay, continue on. <laughs> you all have a very interesting dynamic. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Remy. Okay, there we go. Remy, by the way, Remy, I want to ask you a question. Go for it. Uh, you are such a tall bird. I, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Greckles is like, he's like Greckles sized, but you're like Greckles in a third. Ever the That's, eloquent one. Yeah, thank you. That's quite good math. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I go, so like, what kind of bird are you? Uh, uh, do you know what a falcon is? Yes. Bor does Borky uh, know what a falcon is? Roll knowledge, nature. Okay. Roll, <laughs> roll, roll one and think they Good luck. Roll a one and think they punch. Fourteen. Please. It's a bird that falcons. Yeah. Uh, let me see what your roll is here, Bucko. Fourteen. Yeah, 14. you know what a falcon. Is. Okay. Okay. You'd have to. Okay. That's really. Neat. So, like, are you from where like Greckles is from, which is. Bird Island. Hello? Oh, no. One second, guys. Hey, guys. Discord just crapped out real fast. Uh, we're going to get everyone back in here again. That was fun. There oh, we go. All right, all right, all we're all back. I, I'm, ho <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hosting now. We all in again? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I did call Bosco? everyone. Do we have, do we have Bosco? Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay, here. cool. So like, are you from Bird Island then? Like Greckles? I'm not familiar with Bird Island. I'm assuming it's one of Bird Isles. Oh, Greckles puts his puts his talon over his mouth. Just, just Borky, just stop. What? You're I'm insulting, Bo Borky. <laughs> You're insulting my race, and I don't appreciate it. I'm from Oak Island. I believe you mean the Eastern Isles. <laughs> and no, I'm not from the Eastern Isles, though most of my kind normally is. Hmm. Cool. Porky just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, I'm done. Oh, was, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to ask. I'm just like. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Balfour stands there awkwardly. All right, well, that's all your messages then. Uh, I, I guess, did, did, I guess I will just. I'm not gonna like put it into word like huge words. Yeah, but, like, that's I do just like how they were alive. Up. You know, yeah. don't set the place on fire and. Uh, As we, per Borky's we request. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Balfour takes the message and goes, which one is the high priority one? Bork. This one. Excellent. I will take it to the balcony. And he raises it up. And you watch as a man walks up as Balfour is like walking away. He's like, sir, we have blah, 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 blah. And like his <laughs> mood blah, blah, just blah. does a complete like 180. Like the officer's like, sir, the armaments is empty, sir. And you watch as Balfour goes, 
go to the layouts on here. Like, like he just changes. Like, it's just like at one moment, he's just like, la, 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 la. The moment like military comes up, he's just super serious. And he's just like, all right, bring your men here. Have them come over here, bring the battlements forward. We want to make room for the trebuchets. Move the horses this side and get the Griffin Riders in the air. I want scouts out there to the Eastern side as much as we can. We want to look at Hexton. Anyway, I had to send off this letter and he like walks away. Uh, and all the soldiers salute and walk off. Hmm. Remy and will also salute. <laughs> Avery slumps down next to you. Mm. So a mission tomorrow, eh? Yes, so it would seem. Well, we've got some new friends, and I think Winter has begun to like someone. Perhaps it's been a while, and we have a ceasefire. Hear me out, Remy. Mm -hmm. How about a joyride? Oh, you do love your joy rides. Oh, come on, it'd be fun. Plus, I mean, that one looks stressed out. She points towards uh, Greckles. It could do them some good. A little bit of night riding during dragon season. Exciting. What's, I'm sorry, what season? What? Dragon season. Dragon breeding season. Yes, when the dragons breed. So they're fucking? <laughs> yeah, that, yes, yes. Forky, Forky, yeah. well, I am just learning so much about your vast knowledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. You, I had no idea you knew what that was. Well, you are an innocent as you put on to be. <laughs> oh, please. And, and, um, and you want well, to go out flying during this because you can see the wormlings. Oh, don't worry. There's no chromatic dragons here. There's only uh, metallic ones. Gold dragon left a nest and a couple hatched. You can see them flying at night. Plus, there's that statue place that Winter likes. Interesting. Oh, I've had my fill of statues. Oh, come on. She gives you a nudge, Greckles. It could do some I, good. I nudge, I nudge her back. We had to kill about 30. It's true. One of them came alive with the spirit of, uh... Was it like an elf or something? A gnome. Uh, it, okay. Yeah, it was a gnome. Um, I heard about that. The the, the statue thing. Yeah. Yes, Delmar. Yes, Were we, you there I, for the gelatinous cube from the giant kitchen? The what? Excuse me? What, what? The what? The what? Oh, a couple years ago, there was a giant gelatinous cube that swallowed up about half the city, and then the wizards came and dealt with it. And then before that was the hyena raid, and... Whoa, Gosh. whoa, whoa. I need to learn how to read books. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Alabas just has the worst luck, don't they? Well, I mean, history. new continent, new threats. Can't really prepare for everything that you don't know what you're preparing for. Oh, that's why you got dwarves to build up the city again. Takes them up two days. They're so, they're so fast. Two days? That's yep, two days. Right, Remy? Half the no, shitty, really. The <laughs> yep, that is cute. Terrible accident. Cooking competition, I think. Borky, yes, Borky, Borky, like, grabs his chin. Was Ty involved somehow? I must investigate further. Anyways. <laughs> Pulls out a pipe. <laughs> it blows bubbles. I don't have a pipe yet, but it will blow bubbles. <laughs> Task would like to go get this, uh, getting a bow thing over and done with as quickly yeah, as possible. Yeah, sure. Uh, Winter, uh, Winter, Avery turns to you, Remy, uh, and goes, actually, it might not hurt to get him his weapon, just in case, you never know. Flying can be dangerous. Could always mm -hmm. do some hunting on, on Griffin back. It's true. I hope he's as good with a bow as he is with his mouth. <gasps> oh. Like, just hear the air sucked <laughs> out of this room. Like, Task just like, <laughs> Task just like fucking Ikari poses and smiles. <laughs> uh, you, you will you will see you will see Remy wink at Task very knowingly. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Are okay, you a, are, are you a, are you a sporting hunter? Uh, I may have hunted in my day. How about a friendly competition? Uh oh. Final Nobody count knows. kills by the time we get back to Alabast. <laughs> We're supposed to be on a mission, not hunting. Eh, they can coincide. Joy ride, and I don't want you hit, accidentally hitting my griffins as well. My aim's not that faulty. Oh, on the griffin back, it can be. And she gives you a wink. Is that code for right. disadvantage? Yeah, that's, that's code for disadvantage, my friend. Damn it. All right. All of us meet back where we landed with you, and we'll go on a joyride. <gasps> can we take a short what rest? What time is it? Can we... It's it's morning. Um, we'll do a Did bit of we sleep. No, so this would probably be a good time to have a nap. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go sleep. They can have the, if I skip the droid, I skip the droid. I'm getting sleep. I'm okay. getting my bow first before sleep. 
Borky yeah. says good night uh, and knocks everything off the table and lies down on the table and goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night. Would, would, would Remy know of a good barracks to stick them in, like an empty one? Like maybe. Yeah, there's there's a, a a civilian one that you guys have, and it's empty. It's just kind of on standby, and there's oh. a few cots. You can set them up. No, Borky, you're sleeping on the table. You've made that choice. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um and you guys are all settled. Task uh, for the sake of brevity. You, there's tons of bows. They're so they're, but they're very standard. Uh, you have a long bow. It's just a simple long bow. No spear. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but you also, they also have arrows. Uh, they're willing to part with ten arrows. Uh, if you want to buy more, it's uh, one silver piece per arrow. Ten. Uh, hmm. They and they said that we're probably going to be on Griffin back while this whole thing's going on. Uh, yeah, probably. So I am not getting these arrows back. So I will pay. Okay. How many so arrows would you like let me, to buy? Let me see how many I have so far, including that new 10. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm now at 26 arrows. I want to I wanna tap myself off at 30, so four more. Four more? That's four silver? There you oh, Actually, oh. fuck it. Let's make it a single gold. I'll get 10. Get 10? For sure. Oh, 10. Oh, I, I would... thought for a second you'd be like, let's see how many arrows I have. Let's see. I just got 10, so now I have 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Alrighty. For the sake of, of time... Uh, and given that this is kind of a military field, you can't, you're not really allowed to go around and do a bunch of crazy stuff. You're going to be stopped. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, yep. uh, you guys all rest up. Uh, you guys get a long rest. So all your abilities and stats and healing and whatnot. Uh, I get all my stuff back. Oh, wait. So we, so we get our full health? <laughs> I did nothing. Hooray. Yeah, we get our full health back. Oh, that's yeah, You good. guys yep. get your full health silly, back. Silly. Full health and abilities. So, I, so Gripples is up now too, really, right? Gripples, yeah. Gripples it's been, it's been the time. Okay, cool. Ripples is restored to his full power. Uh, so, so the entire time while they're sleeping, uh, Remy will have stood guard outside of the uh, the barracks just in case anybody had questions of why there were strangers in the camp. Uh, so. A few a few quizzical minds kind of poke their head and it's just like giant orc sleeping on the table, like poking their. <laughs> And as you as you look over to where Borky is, you see a bunch of like uh, private soldiers currently stacking things on top of Borky, like tankards, to see how high they can get it. And like there's like there's like five dudes, and they're like frat dudes. And at one point, like there's one guy is being lifted up by the other guy. They got like seven stacked up on Borky's head, and they're like chat, 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 chat. And he balances his last tub, and they go yeah, like all quiet because they don't want to wake him up. <laughs> oh my god. Remy's just gonna smile and shake his head. Just like, yeah. How could, and then, how could these boys? How could these boys ever lo lose to a kerfuffle in war? How could they ever? <laughs> uh, and then night begins to descend, and you hear the creaking of crickets. I might actually have a song for this. Yay! <clears throat> the creaking of crickets. Let's see. What do I have? Uh... There we go. That'll work. Oh my. And um, I, I don't hear the audio for some reason, but yeah, I hope yeah, you guys I, can. I don't. I'll, mm. Hold on. Let me. Roll, roll 20 is acting a bit funky. So. Yeah, the internet is acting yeah. funky tonight. It's okay. It's yeah. all right. Oh, I, I kind of um, I, I, I hear it. It's really quiet. Okay. I made it kind of quiet. Um, You guys wake up from your full day's rest, <laughs> your lovely day nap. And Remy immediately, Winter, just like not even acknowledging you, like shoves through into the barracks, like just like squirms her way in. Good to see you too, Winter. <sighs> and Task, as you're sleeping, uh, she's gonna roll a strength check. She's gonna shove you off the bed. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> that is, ooh, that's your strength isn't so great. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, Dude, what do I have to roll? What would you have to roll? Roll a counter strength roll. Roll low. Oh, 20. Okay. She like, she tries to shove you. Oh, now it's music's playing for me. She tries to shove you off and you just feel two hands just like knock you almost onto your side and then you lull back into place. It definitely wakes you up though. Task like immediately jumps up vertically, looks left and right and then darts his eyes at her. Oh. She offers you her hand. Task takes she it. She nods and she pulls you out of the bed and she like giddily just like hopping up and down like a kid on Christmas. She's kind of like, follow me, follow me, follow me. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, task will do that. And <laughs> what Avery. What a wonderful turn of events. <laughs> Avery and Gregory also show up and Gregory's got like hair rolls in his hair and like he's kind <laughs> of like half in his armor. You can see kind of his sleeping, his, his silk pajamas beneath his armor. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Avery's just like, oh, come on, Gregory. 
It's going to be fun. I did the cute one, by the way. Remy, you can get one of the others. <laughs> she, like, goes into did. the tent. <sighs> and which one would you like, Gregory, or dare I even ask? Oh, uh, he shrugs. <laughs> I think you'll get along splendidly with the big one. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse for this man to actually say words. He only speaks in onomatopoeia. <laughs> he just speaks in annoyed groans. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> he walks over to Greckles and just like pokes him, like, uh, uh, like, poke, like, just like poking like a gross thing. Uh, panic! You feel. Wait, I want to see how flirtatious she's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> not very flirtatious. Um, uh, let me. What does she have on her? One second. Oh, here we turn are. this around. Turn this yeah. around. Turn this. Yeah. Around. You hear a blaring whistle right in your ear. Panic as you're sleeping. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> like right in your ear. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Oh, come on, man. She kind of gives you a pat on the face. What? Such a party I'm so then. What? I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you. Someone blew a whistle in my ear. Oh, who could have done that? That's awful. She puts the whistle, like, back in the pocket. <sighs> terrible, I say. Terrible. Absolutely awful. Anyway, Joyride, you're with me. Cheeky. <laughs> Cheeky, indeed. Come on. She offers her uh, ear. She what, offers she, her what does she look like? She, um... What, what's her personality not... like, actually? That's more important, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is her charisma? <laughs> her charisma. Please. She, dude, she's got a great set of personalities. <laughs> she does. Um, she is, like, rolled up sleeves, simple set of pauldrons on the shoulders, uh, wearing a simple shirt. You, she's got working arms. You can tell that she definitely, like, works, like, someone who works with horses. Um, it's fairly tall-ish. She's about your height. Um, and she has red hair, like I said, tied up in a bun, kind of messy, like a couple of strands of hair to the side. And then she's got these goggles on her neck. Um, and she's got these, these green eyes, kind of like freckles on the face and just like this grin, like this, this mischievous grin. Human? Yeah, she's human. Okay. Panic slowly gets out of bed. Just, uh, he gets his, gets his clothes on cause... <laughs> Wait, what was he wearing before? Uh, he was sleeping in his underwear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> is, he, is, is Panic <laughs> Grimtongue a boxers or briefs guy? This just, is, just, yeah. This uh, is the, you have to answer this for the fans. Medieval <laughs> underwear, I guess. Oh, so we're talking like so the, nothing. The, so a little, nothing. a little, a little sling around the undercarriage, as it were. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Let's go with that then. <laughs> I like underhand pitched you thong, and you like you didn't grab it. I don't. <laughs> Oh my god. Panic, panic just so nonchalantly getting dressed in front of this woman. And he strings his guitar around, around his around his back, and he's like, You're lucky you're hot. And then he passes right by her. Oh. Oh. Roll, a, roll, a oh charisma, roll a charisma check there. there. One, this is very god. One, two, uh, one, two, three. Huh. 19. <laughs> good job, Tony Bravo. That's good. That's good. Hot. What did what did you say? It's a good thing you're hot. Uh, yes, you're lucky you're hot. No. Oh. Um, and she like kind of shuffles her shoulder, goes, "Lucky for you." Oh fuck! And oh, she steps me. out of the tent. God damn it! What did Lies just teach us? <laughs> <laughs> she initiated. She initiated. Panic. Uh, panic, she does a, panic does a hard look at the camera. I learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Greckles. Someone draw it, please. <laughs> Greckles, you feel as a poke, 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 um, poke. Greckles just like jumps out. He's in a sweat, and you just hear him scream, Sully! Can I help you? <laughs> We're going riding. <laughs> oh, are we? Oh, God. <laughs> you Remy! Smell like mm, I have my drivers <laughs> updated. <laughs> do, do I hear... No, 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 no. Uh, uh, your Uber drive is here. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do, I, do I hear... 
Yeah, you, you hear Grekel screaming. You're right there. You uh, can see when I hear coping. that, I'm going to walk over to Borky and shake him on the table. <laughs> uh, hey, big guy. Borky grabs him and rolls over. <laughs> <laughs> roll roll, roll a, uh, opposing strength check. You can roll acrobatics as well, um, <laughs> Remy. I'm going to roll acrobatics then because that's better for me. I roll, I roll, okay. Do I roll a strength check? 14. Yeah, you're rolling a strength check because you're oh, the one dear. attempting to grab Nine. Grapple. Okay. You manage, as he grabs your head, you manage to, like, scoop your head out and your helmet <sighs> lands on the ground. You manage to grab it and put it back on. <sighs> mm. <sighs> um. Fork! Whoa, she... Oh, I had this crazy, I had this crazy dream that we were falling in the sky. It was... No, that happened, that happened. Not a we're, dream, uh... love, I'm afraid. No. Oh. Hmm. We're going for a joyride, and uh, I think Gregory said he would love to have you on his griffin. We oh, should go find him. I it just I feel like that might be a lie. Oh no, he's <laughs> he's a big fan of yours. Gregory walks out. Gre Greckles, what are you doing with Gregory? I'm just kind of like keeping my. It's it's that like when you're in, when you're in like grade school and you're like you're right next to the weird kid and you're just kind of like you've got your arm you've got your you've got your shoulders slumped up and i'm just kind of like leaning against the tent and i'm like remy <laughs> <laughs> having heard that i'm going to leave the orc and go in the tent uh brew fast right. uh before we start the day um i know it's, it's not the day it's nighttime i know is, is everyone asleep right now no, they're all. Uh, yes. Well, some people are, are awake for guard duty, but most of them are asleep. I do. So... I do have a thing I I kind of do every day. It's like uh. Borky, like, Borky, no, no, Borky. Just, hold I, on, hold I, I on, have a... hold on, hold on, task. <laughs> <laughs> Borky holds up his hand. Hold on, task. Is this in character, out of character? Okay. No, no. What you were saying to me was it in character, out of character? Sorry. It was in character. I are, are you shut me down. No, I'm not shutting you down. Okay, no, okay, okay. I am not shutting you down. Bork Borky, yeah. I understand what you want to do, yeah. but don't you think it would be way more majestic if you did it in the sky? That's my friend He's right there. That, that's my friend right there. That. That's my friend right there. That's friendship. <laughs> that's, that's I just friendship. saved all of your men. I, he looks over to Tash, looks over to Remy. I just saved all of your men from coming over to us in an angry mob form and trying to kill us. You're welcome. I. Don't believe I follow. Don't worry. You'll you'll see when we get in the sky. Who is this normal person? Where is the Greckles? The Greckles you came with, I believe his name was. Gregory walks up with Greckles. Oh, oh dear. Uh... <laughs> uh, Gregory, perhaps he should come with me. Uh, uh, he looks at Borky. <laughs> Is this like a prisoner exchange where we're both both me and him walking across from <laughs> each other? <laughs> we have sacks over our head. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys want to switch? Yeah, yes. we'll switch. All right, you got you guys switch. And Gregory looks completely distraught. He's like, Ugh. all right, all right. Don't worry, pretty boy. It's not that great for me either. <laughs> he starts to cry. <laughs> uh, oh God. Borky, Borky's just sitting there shaking his head. God, he's so not Orky. <laughs> uh, Winter grabs you, Tess. Just grabs you by the arm and just drags you over to ah, ah. her griffin. And she mounts the griffin and she puts the goggles on and she reaches out a hand to you. Tass takes the hand and jumps back up. He's Task is very wary of griffins. The griffin that's hers turns its head. It's a small griffin. It's it's like a pony, what what would be too akin to a horse. Right. And it turns its face and kind of cocks its head a bit and goes, Poof! like, looks at you a little bit and stares like, who the heck are you? And just kind of like, oh, okay. Looks forward and readies its wings. The wings spread out beside you. And then Avery... There, there, there is visible twitching fear in Task when he sees the wings open. Uh, Winter turns around and she gives you a reassuring pat on the shoulder and nods. Tass just... Like, Let's out an exhaling sigh and then nods and then frows his brow looking forward. Um, and then Avery, oh, ladies first, offers her griffin, which is oh. kind of like a calico y color. Nice. <laughs> to me? Yeah, yeah she's off first. Ladies <clears throat> first. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I want you to roll an animal handling. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes. Wee ha. That's a natural 20. Oh! oh. 
Oh, yes! Oh, like, so game over. There, I'm there, better there, than you. There, there was a backflip involved in this. There has to be. <laughs> <laughs> the griffin turns at first angry, like you're a foreign rider, and it snaps its beak at you, and you just take... And then panic flips his hair and thaumaturgies up some sparkles. Okay. <laughs> you thaumaturgy up some sparkles, and then you run your hand from the griffin's beak all the way up its head, and ruffle its feathers gently. And the griffin relaxes and, and kind of like nudges you like pet me more and just keep petting it. And Avery is thoroughly swooning at this point. Just like, oh, like he's good with animals too. Like, damn. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I just imagine, just, I just imagine you petting the stroking, the stroking the thing and just, you know, that, you know, that top and bottom with roses looking right at her. And you just, <laughs> just panic just looks right at her. This is a good burb. <laughs> oh, I believe the levee's broke. No. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad someone got that. <laughs> she she looks thoroughly charmed. Um and she kind of looks like okay, get on the griffin. Stop it. Stop being charming. <laughs> I can't turn it off. I I tried, trust me. He slides on the griffin. All right, you jump up and you you get steady, and she sits behind you. All right, well, I'm going to hold the reins, and she kind of tips her, like, pushes her hands underneath your hands, and she grabs the reins. It's kind of awkward, but it works. <laughs> At least you're not making pottery. <laughs> no, griffin riding, <laughs> a little bit more complicated. Um, Gregory gets on his griffin, and he scoots up forward a bit, like just, uh, 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 and then turns to you with narrowed eyes. <laughs> Forky, does I do I have to roll animal handling getting on this? Or... Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is I, I promised him to not punch this bird in the head. I promised to not <laughs> misread the situation and punch the bird in the head. <laughs> I've never wanted a natural 20. one. More like, oh, twenty. Yeah, oh my goodness. <clears throat> you you <laughs> Borky, can can I can I describe what I oh, no no no. Yep, you, absolutely. Borky just makes eye contact with Gregory because we seem to have this, this thing right now. <laughs> And Borky just extends out his left hand and just scritches under the bird's chin. <laughs> the bird's crest pops up. And Borky just stops scritching, gets on, and wraps his arms tightly around Gregory's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> better be care and B Borky just whispers in his ear, You better be careful, I'm going to do a thing. Oh God! <laughs> oh, no. oh, 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 crazy, Randy! Oh, Just like oh, oh. Can I? Can I? Can I also add something onto this? And I don't know if this will make it even funnier or not. Can we? Can the bird? Can the Griffin be part Poo-Too? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Gregory, I, I want Gregory's Griffin it's, to be Poo It's like it's like a cockatoo, like with the big crest, and also like Poo with the big googly eyes. Yes! Excellent, excellent, oh, excellent. My goodness, Remy, what are you doing? Greco, you're with Remy. Uh, Remy is going to laugh at the display of Borky for one. Uh, uh, he's then going to walk over to his Griffin. Uh, and in a little thing that they do, knock beaks, put up his hand, and then they're not going to fist bump, but like arm bump before he uh, motions for Greckles to get on. Did you just bro fist your griffin? Essentially. Okay. <laughs> Look, man, don't judge me in my griffin shoe. <laughs> that's, my, that's my griffin, fool. <laughs> All right, Greckles, what do you do? I want to kind of... Crouch down, not too close, for, not not too close from the Griffin, and just kind of look at him, see what he does. I'm gonna pull out, at you. I'm gonna pull out one of my rations, one of the the deer meaty deer rations that Task had uh, poached for us, and offer it. Roll animal handling with advantage. Yeah, nice. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, nice. Mm. Like a cobra strike, which the griffin takes the piece of meat. You think your fingers are gone, and then just like lifts up its head and just swallows it down into its gizzard. Not polite, but definitely happy. I uh, hold out. I hold out my hand to it. Okay, it lets you pet it. Okay, I give him. I give him some pets. You seem to be a natural. 
Well, it's amazing what you uh, run into in my journeys. Oh yeah, you'll have to tell me sometime. Yeah. Might be a familiar story. <laughs> oh joy. Where are I we off sorry to? Sorry for you then. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't know the half of it. Where are we going? He's just gonna point up and hop on the Griffin. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna find out. And Let's... Greckles just hops on. Let's the moment that trail. The moment Greckles hops on, task. I need you to roll a strength. A screaming, a screaming with terror roll. Got it. Uh, a strength saving throw, actually. Oh, good. My worst fucking thing ever. You keep making us roll strength and yeah. <laughs> bravo, you, ever, bravo, nine, nine. Without nine. like you, this is gonna be great. You are holding like you're sitting on the back of the Griffin, and then Winter just kicks, and the Griffin just shoots up like a rocket, and you are like grabbing onto her her torso with your legs, and like your head is flipped backwards, and you see the ground disappearing as you're brought up into the sky again. So, so if there's just like a fixed camera point of the sky, you just watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Gregory kicks his, like, just like, <laughs> like, kicks his griffin, <laughs> and it brings out its wing, does a little, like, fancy, like, fanfare flap, and then takes off into the air as well. And Avery, uh, like, takes the reins in front of you and does a little kick, and then the griffin takes off, and then Remy, throw uh, a griffin vehicle for me. Oh, this will be great. <laughs> with advantage. Oh, yay. A griffin vehicle? Oh, oh dear. No, double six. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> you kick. Why'd you feed my bird? <laughs> you kick Volo, and Volo just like hubak, hubak, begins to regurgitate deer meat. Spits it up. <laughs> before we ride, but you know, what's done is done. He begins to like try and eat it again. <laughs> it's like a dog. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna cheap. he's gonna yank the reins. No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> animal, animal handling check. <laughs> Thank God. All right, 15, 16. All right, <laughs> you manage to pull him and convince him, and you take off into the sky uh, behind the others. Winter is definitely leading the um, <clears throat> the uh, the the riding pack at this point, and you guys set off into the air, and you see the entire <clears throat> set of stars. Nothing like the city stars and galaxies you almost can see the entire cosmos you just saw with with lies and it's what you know it's what you've seen you see the moon rising up crescent but there a haunting glow of white you feel the rush of the trees beneath you there's a bite to the wind but it's a good bite uh i'm gonna have task like gaze up at like after adjusting himself from the fucking catastrophe that almost was him falling off the goddamn griffin uh real real i'm gonna hmm? sorry, 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 mm -hmm. sorry, sorry 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 i thought you too go go finish your bit sorry okay. uh uh task looks up to the sky like this is actually comic to him and then explains to explains to winter it reminds me of iron oath looking up into the sky out on the surface she turns, and there's an acknowledging glance through those goggles. She nods, and she turns back. Could it be in the distance you just hear Borky yelling, it's time to get Orky, it's time to get Borky? Go go right ahead, go for <laughs> it. And in the distance, <laughs> it's time to get Orky, it's time to get Borky up high! <laughs> so now I imagine again, while the camera's on task, you see you see Borky pan up with the Putu Griffin and then back down. <laughs> and Tass's face just goes from like serene to motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sereneness kind of ends. And as you scream that out, Borky, hundreds of, of birds in the trees scatter. But not Greckles. From... And Remy, right? Not Gre no, they're fine. Greckle, Greckles can't fly, buddy. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> Don't remind him. Um, is it is it stable enough, like to to like re like handle things, or is it still kind of bumpy? It's pretty bumpy. It depends on what you're trying to do. Um, uh, and, like and, if you if you were like, I'm gonna draw this beautiful scene, I would be like, yeah, you're gonna get a bunch oh, of squiggles and and nonsense. No, no. no. Yeah. I actually want to reach in my robe where I have that ha thinking it, looking at the cosmos and thinking about what we just went through. I want to kind of reach in and just just feel on on half of Liza's mask. It's smooth and cold, porcelain. 
You 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 hear that audible sigh, by the way, Remy. Not a fan of the sky. No, it's not that. It's just well, let's just say we're sworn to secrecy on something. I know the life. Tell me something, Remy. Hmm. Have you ever seen a god? I guess that's depends on your definition of a god. I've seen things where I wish gods would have intervened and they didn't, so I can't say that I've seen them personally, but I've heard stories. I've seen creatures that could be godlike. What would you do if you saw a Vetrion face to face? I would drop to my knees and bow my head in respect. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Are you telling me you've seen a god, Greckles? Like you, I've also seen a lot of things. But, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Where are we off to, by the way? Oh, this? <laughs> well, this is something we just like to do to enjoy ourselves, kind of keep the stress off, and maybe just to piss off a certain someone in the army. A certain someone? Yes, the captain's assistant, Barotha. She's a rather irritating person. Oh, do tell. Oh, she's all about her regulations and making sure everything is in the right order. And Hey, Avery! Yes, love? Best word to describe Barotha. Oh, a uh, disgusting, slobbering hag who is in love with her clipboard. I, well, That's, come on. That's more than one word. Clipboard lover, clipboard lover. That was what I thought of. You know, the moment you give her that clipboard, she just blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And there you go, Greckles. Ugh. Reminds me of Miss Fleet Fingers back in the city. Oh, now that just sounds like a terrible person. <laughs> oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn her, who we met twice. <laughs> <laughs> she got you guys a job in a house. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I know. I, I don't know. know that. It just sounds like an awful name. Sure right? Turn me like in. <laughs> to turn me into a turtle, that bitch. <laughs> and we. And I met that endearingly. Sorry for yelling in your ear, there, love. And she kind of gives you a pat on the waist. There, panic. Oh, uh, it's, it's all right. It's uh, not the rudest way I've been awakened. <laughs> ah. The, the, the rudest lately is uh, falling out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Probably why you're so cute. Uh, are you calling me an angel Damn, with these horns? The love well, angel, devil, whatever. Quite handsome. Music man yourself, eh? Notice the guitar. Try not to squish it. Yes, uh, I'm a traveling I'm a, a traveling bard. I do what I can. <laughs> I want you to be a bard. Really? Yeah. Griffin training suits me a bit more. Runs the family. What, uh, what college did you go to? Oh, <laughs> you have so much faith in me. I didn't go to a college. I was not made for it. <laughs> I liked playing the flute, but I was not good at it. Mm. But I liked doing it, and that was what was important. And I still do it occasionally, but of course, army and fire giants and whatnot, it's kind of hard to do. Well, whenever this is all over, I'm sure you, you make a fine musician. <laughs> Maybe. Panic looks up to the night sky. Mm -hmm. He's, it is gorgeous. Let's let's the cool air run through his hair, and he's like, "Nice like these." I was in my hometown. I would look up to the sky, and I'd watch all the pretty lights and the auroras, and I would just play. And he would, he's gonna unstring his guitar, and he's going to uh, start playing something. Hey, I want you to roll a performance check. Uh, oh, good. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yeah, baby. Uh, that's a 25. With... Lion's this... cloak with advantage. R Lion's cloak? You're not wearing that. I'm not? You're feeling your hair in the breeze, man. Hmm. 23 is good. Perfect. 23 is right. exactly what you need. That one. So As panic, you... panic, just a... Just a... Uh... Do, 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 do. I can show you the world. <laughs> Shining, <laughs> shimmering, splendid. Careful, we don't get mod booted. Mod booted. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> there are um, five Disney lawyers fuck, in this fuck, chat right now. You understand fuck. that, right? <laughs> oh, one's holding a gun to my head right now. Oh, wow. They're fast. Um, <laughs> they are fast. They are fast. Yeah. As you, as you strum and you play, I'm going to roll a performance check for someone else, actually. Okay, not bad. Task, as you're, you're riding on the back of this griffin, you watch as Winter hands you the reins. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> and Winter and starts to... Oh, just like, you ever see, watch people like doing the acrobatics on like horses, like standing yes. up on their horse. She stands up on her griffin <laughs> and what? pulls out a whistle, like a, a, a whistle with a, a dragon mo motif to it. It's gorgeous. It has a dragon head where the mouthpiece is and it coils down to a tail coming out of the um, end of it. And she pulls it in and she begins to play it along with panic. And it's this haunting sound. It's peaceful. It's calming. And mixed with the guitar, it's a perfect mix. And then you hear a rush beneath the trees as you guys are flying forward. You hear a foo, foo, from every side around you. And you watch as golden dragon wormlings break from the tree line. And you watch as they fly foo, with big wings next to you. And they peer and they look curious about the noise. And Winter turns back and looks at you, nudges her head towards the dragons, like you see in this. And mm -hmm. there is there is a. Honey, do you have music for this? I wish, I wish oh. I did. There is anyway, a just anything? something magical, even oh, even yeah, just I, I, the, the you know you, you know you know what I'm playing in my head right now. Just imagine it, which would be really good. Imagine revived power from Shadow of the Colossus. Ooh, oh, good yeah. Ooh. Task is look looks over to the dragons. There is like he completely forgets all of his fears and now just stares off into the distance at these dragons. <sighs> you guys fly over a lake bed and you see a reflection, the griffins' stomachs and the reflections of the water as you lean forward and the dragons too. And some of the dragons <sighs> turn off. A few follow, young ones curious about who you are. And one gets really quite close, and as it gets really close to you, Taz gets like uncomfortably close, and you watch as Willow's gripping goes Pow! and like snaps, and the dragon's like, "Oh shit!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Taz yeah. wants to roll handle animal to get it to stop. The griffin? Uh, yeah. That would be a vehicle check, so that would be a wisdom Oh, I roll. have that! That's profession on me! No, you have land vehicle. You do not have flying vehicle, my oh, friend. Oh, well, uh, I thought. So that's a d20 with your wisdom modifier. Uh, 1d20 with wisdom mod? Okay, so why don't I just roll a wisdom? Yeah, just roll wisdom. Yeah. 17. Okay. You're rocking back and forth. It's weird. And you also have a person standing in front of you playing a flute. Yeah. Um, but you're you're like, okay. <laughs> it's like a first time horseback riding. Like, oh god, please don't kill me. Yeah. But you manage to kind of figure out the notions. To get it to stop, you don't really know how. Like, pulling on the reins doesn't seem to stop it like it would with a horse with a bridle. Um, but it slows down a little bit. It's kind of like, ah, blah, blah, blah. like who's Who's messing with me? Um, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to give a stop to look at the dragon? I, 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 I'm trying. To, I'm trying to lull it to keep itself forward, like to try and like make it at ease with what's flying nearby. Okay. And as you guys continue to fly, the dragons turn off and fly into the distance. You see some mountains potentially where they reside, and you guys fly, and, and it's peaceful. It's peaceful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And I want everybody to roll perception checks. Ooh. Is it sight? Uh, yes, you have advantage. 14. Twenty-one. Eighteen. Thirteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Well, actually, I got seventeen. Was this all? We have a. We have a. No, only only uh, Remy has uh, advantage on perception checks that rely on sight because he is a falcon kenku. He took away his oh, other abilities. Oh, okay. So thirteen. Yeah. Uh, cool. 13, okay, 13. Aren't you uh, idiot? Task and Remy, as you're flying and you're peaceful, you see something break in the horizon, a swarm of something with big wings flying towards you. Uh, something off in the distance, is that normal? I'm gonna is roll normal? for Avery, not usually. Okay, and Avery rolled a 19. Winter is busy playing her flute. Gregory is looking at his hair. Um, oh. <laughs> Avery, <We're not> <laughs> Avery's like resting her head on your shoulder, panic. Like she's really quite, she's digging you. 
And like the moment Task you yelled at and she looks up, she narrows her eyes. And at this point, Remy, you see what's coming towards you, large birds with antlers and, and these teeth like, like a bovine wild animal. Uh, really? Ever seen these things before? Knowledge Arcana. Oh boy. What in the fuck? 21. 21? Not bad. Uh, you know that these are, let me grab them. Uh, these are peritons. Oh no. And as they get closer, they're wearing fire giant armor. Oh no. Remy! <laughs> Remy, peritons! We have a problem. Okay, Die! Okay, let's go. Uh, I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, oh no! Oh, we're, we're in the sky. It's a flight how, scene. How, how far away from the camp are we? Uh, you're like a good like two hours flight. Uh, okay. Fourteen. Right. Fourteen. Alrighty. Oh my god. All right. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, big seven. What, what are, what are, what are, this. What are Parringtons oh. exactly? Sorry, I just I'm very I'll curious. Take that. They are large 17. bird creatures that have the heads of deer with sharp teeth and antlers. Um, I will I will post a copy of yeah. it in the in the Discord. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's, Appreciate it. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go, let's, yeah, let's go over initiative again real fast because we're a lot of we're a lot of cross talk real fast, just for the people at home. So uh, uh seven seven for Greckles. Twenteen. Oh go ahead. Fourteen Sorry. for panic. Okay. And a fourteen for uh task. So I, I have a dex of five. I'm guessing I'm beating that. Yeah, no, you beat me. Oh. Remy, because you are currently on the Griffin, your initiative is going to be the same as Greckle's. Or cool. you guys actually you know what? I will say you can take Remy's initiative because it's more improved. Okay. Okay. Because Gre uh, Remy, you're in charge of your Griffin, and Greckle's, you are on the back. So okay. cool. Right. Orky, and then we had Task, and that's Winter. With and task. I rolled a 17 as well. So. And you rolled a 17. Yeah, I already have you. Uh, and then. You want to know what I stopped myself from saying? I'm just like, make sure you don't forget the good boy. And I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, there it is. It's, it's fine. It's been two days, by the way. I, I know, I, I know. But like, when, when we think initiative list, I'm just like, we always forget. Okay. Think Remy, how happy he is when we get home. There that is no... Oh, his wagon. Because right now, realized. after being gone for two days, I'm worried we are entering into what I can only describe as a Fry's dog-like situation. Oh no. Oh no. Why would how, you say that? How the fuck did Willow kill Tarisk in two days? I mean, she is accident prone, no, but she, wait, wait, waiting, waiting for a sad. Oh my god. All right, I gotta, I gotta do something kind of tricky here, so. No worries, give no me worries. A second here. This... Because there is no map for this fight. Oh, hey, this, hey. Is, a, this is a dog fight. Hey, hey, Taka, you wanna hear dog something fly. nice about these things? What? Whenever an opponent, whenever an opponent was helpless or unconscious, whether from crippling, paralysis, etc., the periton would attempt to rip the heart from the victim with its claws. It would immediately consume the organ. Oh, uh, yep, that's fun. All right, yay, Gee that whiz. Was... Mm. Alrighty, and then I need Gee to willikers. grab. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have. That's the start. I need my token. How many do we see? Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh... Oh, good. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, oh, whoops! I already did that. Sorry. I'm I, re I really, I really, I really upset dumb. our community with that comment. I really think I. Uh... Hey guys, uh, I'm I'm going to be that asshole. I need to take a quick bio break before we start. Dang. Yeah, I sounds know. good. No worries. Uh, guys, I hope you're liking the show so far. This episode has been so much goddamn fun, Nadine. I don't even know what to. I, I love all the new characters. This is so awesome. And Remy, Remy, Remy's cool. Remy's got that. <laughs> Remy's cool. Remy's a... Rem a Remy is best bro. Come on. Now what's going on, guys? It's me. I got the lowest roll. All right, we're ready to go. When, he's when, basically when just Garrus now. Come on. He's, he is space bro. Get, get, oh, my God. Can I wait for a minute? I'm in the middle of some bird calibrations. Bird <laughs> I did, uh, have to go do some calibrations, so, yeah. Did, uh, did, any, did any of the dragons roar or anything along those lines? They were quiet. They just kind of made some, some low rumbling noises. They're, they're just young dragons, so, you know. Not exactly fully grown. If they were big, they they would probably. I mean, chromatics are evil and metallics are pretty friendly, but they might try to eat you. I just didn't know if they made any growls or noises or anything. Well, they they're dragons, so they absolutely. Can't okay, be. I'm back. Because I, I I I can't throw my lightning javelin. I'm not gonna be able to get that back. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Don't you have regular javelins? I do have regular javelins. I just don't have my fun my my fun magic nuke. <laughs> Your magic nuke. One quick, two. throw it at, no, quick, 
throw it at uh, Panic. Panic? <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that hurt, you dick. Alrighty. Remy, you're up first. I need you to do a Griffin writing check for me. Oh, goody. Here we go. Uh, Sorry, this one's going to be kind of a weird combat for you. No, I'll be good. You were literally, you were literally like a plane. Okay. Let um, me roll for the Periton. I get okay. to be a plane. You immediately, a Periton descends like a falcon grabbing a fish, and you duck, and Volo dives, and you see a clip of his feathers get snatched up by the Periton as it screams and squawks. Ugh. Greckles, you are on Griffin back. You see a bunch of these crazy birds. It's like absolute madness, twisting and winding. Oh, I'm gonna try something. Um, I'm gonna cast Silent Image. Okay. It's going to be in the shit. It's gonna be what was it, 15 foot cube max? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have it try to sh have the appearance of one of the bronze dragonlings that that were uh, with us. 15 cube, yeah. You can absolutely do that. That's, That's cool. Pretty big. That's good. All right. Uh... Let me let me see here. Uh, you can alter its appearance so that movements appears natural for the image. You can create an image of creature and move it. Alter the image so it appears to be walking. Does flying count with wings? Uh, Since I can do walking. You know what? I, I I'll say absolutely. Okay. I like can this I, idea. This is cool. Can I cast another spell as a bonus action, or is it just one per turn? Only if the spell says it's a bonus action to cast it. Crap. Uh. Ba -ba -bum. God, where would that be? Would that be in the beginning or end, or would it be? In the uh, top? It would be at it would be at the top. It says casting okay. time. So. Okay, so one action. So one action. All right. What's um, the What's the save on the image? It's uh, your spell save, so that will be under your spells. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it really just twelve? I thought it was fifteen. Oh, okay, well, so I guess it's spell save that, twelve. That sounds about right if you're not a spell caster regularly. I... All right. Investigation check. Okay, that one knows it's an illusion. That one doesn't. Okay. That one knows. That one doesn't. By the way, Remy, when you're just behind you, if you, if you if you look over your shoulder, you see Greckles making strange movements with his hands, and then he just shouts out in an echoey voice, Genjutsu! We... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. my thunder, Nadine. I'm sorry, that was, I'm sorry, that was mean. No, but you do, you watch as from Greckles, a, uh, a gold dragonling comes out from the water beneath you guys and flies and roars, this terrifying roar. Two of the parrots go and fly away, leaving their four compatriots behind who are still thirsty for blood. Well, that helped. Better believe it. Good old Genjutsu, boys and girls. You're not just a you're weeb, you're our weeb. Do you understand that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best weeb. Uh, task, it is now your turn. Winter immediately sits down, gets on her griffin, and begins to fly straight up, noticing your bow. Natural 20 for her, for flying. Jeez. She kicks the griffin, it does spins, and like the paratons try and go for it. You, As you are pulled backwards, she begins to fall. You see two paratons directly beneath you. Because of the natural 20, I'll give you advantage on your shot. Do you know what I want to fucking do then? I want to shoot, aim down, and hail of thorns on both of them. Hell yeah. Roll to hit with advantage. Do it. 16. That hits. Yeah! Get him, baby. All right, that's Piercing. 11 points of damage on both. And then it's a dexterity saving throw. For and then the... a uh, plus 1d... Yeah, 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 so I can do the 1d10. Okay. One failed, the other one got an 18. Uh, how do I check, uh, my spell, uh, my spell save is a 14, so we passed it. So okay. one of them's taking the 1d10. All right, roll it up. I just want you guys to know I'm fucking playing, like, rogue, uh, sky rogue music right now, and oh my god, it fits! <laughs> <laughs> four points of damage. Four points of damage on top of that? All right, this one takes the four points of damage. Oof, not bad, not bad. This one goes down to that. Okay, perfect. You let loose the arrow as you are basically doing a loop upside down and you just let loose that arrow. It strikes the periton and as it does, like Argh! it looks up and from your bow, a hail of different arrows comes down, splattering it. I'm gonna see if it this fucking destroys its wings. Okay, it doesn't. This thing beats and as it beats its wings, it has the arrows embedded in it. It looks pissed. 
The other one manages to tuck and duck out of the way, rolling. You managed to hurt them pretty badly. Fuck yeah! Uh, oh, Borky. Where, you were added to the turn order. Oh, I got 17, though. I know you did. I'll let you go now. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just I'm trying to be quiet and letting everyone do their cool fucking things right now. All right. I, I, a silly question. Now, we don't have any tokens. We're just surrounded by birds, essentially, right? Yeah, it's like an absolute frenzy. Alrighty. Uh, all right. <laughs> Uh, uh, Gregory, actually, because he gets the first movement, seeing how much of a brute you are and seeing your war axe, he purposely drives one of his griffins towards a, a periton that's currently chasing after Avery and, and Panic, and he goes, uh -huh, swing, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he rolled a knife. So he, the beating of his griffin's stupid, dumb, patoo-faced wings flies up next to a periton, roll a, uh, you can, you, you can roll a great axe swing if you'd like. Oh, I would love, Borky would like to swing to the stands and Borky swings. 14. That hits. Yeah. And Borky, eight slashing. Eight slashing damage. That's for this one here. Okay. Oof, not bad. You swing and you strike the neck of the periton. And as you strike it, your war axe glides up and you see one of its antlers just flip and fly into the distance. And you hear a as it lands in the lake beneath. <laughs> <laughs> and it like spits out spittle and blood as it looks directly at you, extremely angry. Okay. okay. Uh, it is I'll, now I'll in the to, oh, Okay, no worries. I, didn't, oh, I, didn't, oh. I, re I realized I didn't rage or anything. That's okay. We'll be fine. What? Stop. Hold on. Yeah, we all gotta leave. Recalling, guys. We do apologize for all this technical imp One second, guys. There's a slight connection issue real fast here. We'll give. Hello. Hello. Okay, there we go. Jeez, wow. Wow, Discord, Discord is not being good tonight. Roll call. Who's all here? Me. Okay. Uh, I'm here. We're good. Yeah, we're here. Nadine? You good? <laughs> Oh, I'm here. I'm here now. Okay, we're all I'm here. here. I'm here. I'm we here. I'm here. We are all here. Goodness me. Damn it. That Discord. is Discord. Discord is hiccuping. Oh. All right. All right, guys. Let's keep on going there. So, Borky, whoop, smack. For eight points of damage. Okay, I already calculated that. And you don't get a movement action. You get a bonus action. I get a bonus action? Oh, good. Can, I'll, can Borky swing again? Or is he. Can he uh, get... Not with that type of weapon, sadly. All right, Borky pulls out one of his lovely. That's not a weapon you can do a multi-attack with either. I'm sorry. I just don't. That's be that's be a specific type. I'm sorry. I'm joking, but Borky, quick flag ripples. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Borky. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Uh, I guess. Can Borky just ready an action with a bonus action, or like? Uh, no, you can't. No. Your turn's over, I think, oh, at this oh. point. You got a good swing off, though. Yeah, I, I want to kill tons of birds with one tack, like task can. Oh, right. well, they didn't die, <laughs> so you know. Okay. All right, no worries. Okay. Uh, this one is going to take particular interest towards you now, Borky, the one that's above. Oh no. Yeah. And it's going to do a. Uh, it's like an situation. attack. It's going to dive down at you. And this is a gore attack. So let's go with this. Quick guy. Does a 14 hit you? By the way, your AC is incorrect on your page. That just reminded me. My AC, oh, my AC has always been 15. Yeah, your AC oh, God, should gonna... be 17. It should not be like how low it is. So let's just quickly fix that, actually. Oh, it's gonna my, my AC is 15, right? Yeah, you, you have 10 plus your dexterity modifier plus your constitution modifier. <laughs> So uh, let me just double check here. That's 17. I've had 17 AC this whole time. Yeah, it's resets on you for some reason, which is weird. I've had 15 AC this whole run. Cool. Well, you have 17 now. Yay, it does not hit me. Oh. Yay. What an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You watch, <laughs> curve the you, bullet. You now watch as this paratin with just like missing and dodging all these shots, <laughs> nose dives ready with talons out and like, Gregory just tilts his griffin just to the side, just it to the side, and the parrot just misses you just barely. Mm, that was close. Borky then, uh -huh. Borky then realizes he's actually tougher than he ever realized, 
Borky's abs actually get even more shade on them. Even more oh. definition happens. <laughs> oh. There All we right. go. Borky, Borky, Borky gets that whole one punch, punch man six pack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we yeah. go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Uh, task as you have, you're bringing back your your hand for another arrow. One of the paratons streaks up towards you, and Shit. is going to attack. Shit. With a gore attack. That Shit. is a sixteen plus. Five. Gore! Yeah, that's hitting me. That's hitting you. All right, that's 1D. Okay. You take five points of piercing damage. As it goes for, snaps you with its beak, it snaps you right in the side and tries to tear you off. And as it tries to rip you off the back of the griffin, Winter grabs you and it goes for it to kick you with its talons as well. Please! Eight plus five, that is 13. Does that hit you? That misses. All right, it kicks with its talons and you just manage to like be pulled out of the way. In fact, you fall off the griffin backwards and Willow just holds onto you and brings you back up. Winter. Winter, oh. I knew it, I knew that was gonna happen. Hi, Willow. No, hey, you've been good so far though. Hey, I know. where's Tarisk? I know. Uh, Tarisk for wings. Still have any. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it's Pug. <laughs> oh, no. oh right God. below the boat. Whoa, goodness me, what's happening here? I'm a good boy. Oh, God, I'm out. <laughs> Alrighty, panic. Avery is keeping her cool, actually, in this situation. Um, wait, were you added to the turn? Yeah, you're, you were added to the turn order. Yeah. Were you yeah. skipped? Yep, yeah, he was you skipped. Did. I skipped you. Okay, you're going next, buddy. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you learned nothing, huh? Lies is looking down at you. Avery is like, all right, love, show me what you can do. And she's going to attempt to fly you by two of the paratons. Your guitar is already at the ready. Uh, how close proximity are the two paratons? They are currently approaching you about 10 feet apart. 10 feet apart? Perfect. About 20 feet away. Like, they're they're starting to, like, do that bird thing where they turn and get ready for another strike, like another flyby strike. Double perfect. I cast Shatter on both of them. Nice. All right. Just goes. Okay. Level two. And that's a constitution save, correct? Yep, sure is. Okay, what's our constitution? Not bad. Wow, a whopping, like, really Six. low roll. Oh, uh, first one got 16, and then the second one oop, got a three. So the second one fails. Okay, so it takes full damage, and the other one takes half damage. The other one takes half damage? Okay. Yeah, and, uh... Six, that's... Okay, that one there. All right. Oh, using my... Uh, can I use my bonus action? Absolutely. All right, using my bonus action, I'm going to uh, use my... Uh, I'm going to use my thunder abilities, and I'm going to cast... Uh, 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 which one is it? Uh... Striking Chord. All right. So they need to make a another constitution save. another constitution saving throw. Okay. I that is a natural roll. twenty, and then that is a twelve. Okay, so the first one, uh, nothing happens. Okay. The second one, hang on, let me just uh, roll. Let's see, I roll an inspiration die, so. Wait, is my inspiration die 1d6 or 1d8? It's a 1d6. Should be a 1d6. So, they... I think they... For the one with the natural 20, I'm going to have it where it takes no damage. Okay, yeah. Like it managed uh, to just, like, dive out of the way just in time. The so other the one, one totally gets hit. Yeah, so the, so the one that the the one that uh, failed, uh, it takes the 3x damage, and it is knocked prone. Alrighty. I'm going to roll a concentration check on it, actually. Actually, you know what? Strength. That is a two. Oh, oh no. All righty. The yeah, one you hit with the shot, you watch as it staggers and falls and tries to fly almost backwards, tries to steady itself. It flips and turns, and you hear just a thunderous crack, and you watch as its neck breaks as it hits the water. Yeah! And it crashes yeah. a couple of times, and then you hear bubbling as it falls. <laughs> Blazing down, what a heavy day. 
Alrighty. Now back to the. Oh, well, it's dead now. Uh, so that can go right. uh, <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it died. The but... other one that just narrowly dodged out of your attack is going to attack you. And that is a 11 plus 5. That's a 16 to hit you. Me? Yep. It's going for that you. Hits. That hits. That hits. All right. Mm-hmm. So that's a gore attack. So that's. Oof. You take 11 points of piercing damage. Owie! As it's it just like a needle point jabs you right in the stomach, and it begins to, like, trying to get to your heart, begins to chew at you. And Avery just brings her hand and starts smacking the thing over the head and manages to knock its face out of your stomach, almost. And it's going to go for a second attack with its claws. Oh, no. Which is a 17 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the dice for this one? Okay, it's the same. Oh, well, take four points of additional piercing damage. Ow. Oh, wait, that's the wrong die. Never mind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> let me grab the right dice. Let me grab the one D100. If only let, me get the, let me get the D100. If only he had my abs. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, he, the, the bar really is the tank. I'm pretty yeah. sure I got the lowest AC out you of all of you. You keep pissing every. You either you either sex everything or piss it off. You take. Oh wow, three points of damage. Oh wait, no, you take six points of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. The talons kick back and like tear through your jacket. Your really nice jacket. <laughs> so panic, panic. Um, his just bleeding all over his shirt and his jacket. His jacket is fucking ruined now. He's just gonna look up at this thing. And Hellfire is going to billow from his eyes. Hellish rebuke. Alrighty. Reaction. Let's do it. So that's a reaction just, attack, essentially, you I have? Just, yep. I don't know the yeah. details of it. Okay, cool. It's where you get you get hit with a certain amount of damage, which is the trigger for that, yeah? Uh, if I get hit with any amount of damage, oh, I can okay, do it. Cool. How many times per day can you do it? Once. Once. Okay. Uh, Alright. Hellish rebuke. Language. Hackish rebuke. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh, that no. is twelve. Points it needs to of make damage. it. Needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Actually, it's eighteen. Eighteen? Oh, did you cast it at a higher level? Uh, and it's always cast at level two with my tiefling ability. Right, with your tiefling thing. All right. So dexterity save. Yeah. That is an eleven. So it fails. Yep. It takes full damage. Whew. Bye, birdie. You you turn and you release the hellish re- rebuke. You watch as the entire periton bursts into flames, and as the flames dissipate, you see a roast chicken. Nice. It falls. <laughs> it just falls, and you hear a ploop as it lands in the, the water. The bard has killed two enemies in one go. Yeah, this is yeah. pretty impressive. Look, All righty. Don't mess with his jacket. That so, so hot, so hot I, I right love- now. I love My the aesthetic idea. is ruined. <laughs> I love the idea that it was just like, oh wait, he takes three points. Oh wait, no, six points. Oh wait, no, panic is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then he still can't tell us rebuke, just because why not? Yeah. Might as well. Uh, Renis, it is now your turn. Griffin riding, please. Alrighty, here we go. Gonna ride the grief on. Shut up, I hear you talking. <laughs> Do I have advantage or is it just a straight roll? Uh, just, it's just a straight roll. Um, 14. Okay, I'm gonna roll for a parenting here. Oh, I need... Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Uh, Remy and Greckles, I need strength saving throws. God Uh, damn it! Oh, no! Why is it always strength and con with you, Monty? It's just the nature of the beast today, I'm sorry. Uh, That beast being a griffin. Bye! Call out, call out your rolls, call call out your rolls, guys. Uh, 12. 7. All right. A periton, you managed to duck out for yourself right away, but Greckles, you're knocked off by the periton's talons. You begin to fall. Oh, no. Wait a second. Hang on. I got this. Uh, can I use a reaction? Yes, you can. Okay. I believe Featherfall is a reaction, which I'm going yes. to cast. Go ahead and uh, click it. Yup. All right. Uh, uh, Greckles, as you begin to fall and descend, and you see the water, it's, you know, it might cushion the fall, but not at this height, uh, your fall begins to slow, and you are just slowly floating, like you uh, have an umbrella and, above you. And as you're falling, you will, as you heard, uh, as he reaches his hand out and casts, Puma Renudium! As you begin to fall less quickly. Slowly, as, like, it's like, as, ah! As, as, as Greckles falls, 
He just mutters on his breath, what a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I just, I got the biggest <laughs> shit-eating grin on my face right now, you have no idea, right? Oh my god. Guys, you're gonna I... love you right now. <laughs> like, oh, so god. much. And then, and then Gregor goes, Oh, expecto Patronum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Levio Sar, Gregor Levio Chase. Levio Sar. Levio Sar. Oh, it's Levio. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, Greckles, you are slowly falling. The periton that struck you is probably about like 80 feet away at this point. Bull sex. Um, tell you what, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. Yeah, my my dad, my uh my darts only go 60 feet. I think. Can I click on it without attacking and just? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. We can just take well, a look. I yeah. didn't know if it would give a range. At 20 all. to 60 feet. So. Okay. So no. In that case, I'm gonna whip up. Let me see here. <laughs> Going to stealth midair. God, I wish. <laughs> Bleed into Homer Simpson into the night sky itself. <laughs> Greckles takes a breath. Ninja sai katono jutsu! And launches a fireball. And you right. called him a dork. That's called stupid irony, friend. <laughs> <laughs> 17. There that you go. Hits. That hits. One whole damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, two. Oh. You, you, you spit a little thing, but it hits the periton in the eye and it begins to squawk angrily. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, dick! <laughs> Task, this other periton that just like struck you in the chest is rearing around for another strike. <laughs> you are currently still being held by Willow. You're like standing on the side like a, like a climber with his gear. My turn. The entire like earth beneath you now, but Will it's Willow. I, oh God! Win what Winter, am I you did it. Oh geez, okay. Winter, I'm going to suggest something crazy. She Do turns and nods to you, like I'm ready. Are you? How are? How is the bird at catching things from the sky? She pats the the griffin and gives you a, a nod. Let me go. All right, she lets you go, and you begin to fall. Take a and shot at this motherfucker. The parrot in seeing you fall just looks at the opportunity and begins to nose dive towards you. Take your shot. 20! That hits. Nice. That 12 oh, plus yeah. five. Oh. Plus five. You're that falling, you feel bad. the wind. You're falling, you're falling, you're falling. The ground is no concern. You got something to kill. You let loose the arrow. It flies as its beak opens about to bite you. It flies right through the beak and the bird just, ah! it crumples inwards and flies past you like a comet falling into the water. And let's go winter. Let's see, not bad. Okay, 15. She dives with her griffin, swoops up. And as the you see the water getting closer and closer and closer, you land on something and you're backwards on the griffin. You're currently facing the back end. And she turns around to you and gives you a nod. Cast nods back. Alrighty. Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, steers his giant griffin. It's Patu face. Okay, not bad, Gregory. Uh, he turns. It's a bit of a harsh turn. You kind of have to hold on to the griffin uh. as he does like kind of a side turn. And once again, it brings you up to another periton. Is he running at the periton? Yeah. What is the role if I wanted to clothesline the bird? <laughs> that would be an athletics check. Are you a bad enough dude? Am I a bad enough dude? Borky, after seeing Task do the coolest thing he's seen all day, like maximum Segoy awesome. Uh, <laughs> I want to get on the. I want to get in on Lingo. I want to get in on it. Um. <laughs> You're such a dork. Borky. Borky doesn't like that he didn't kill that bird with one swing. Borky clearly needs to try something out. Borky's now going to do the flying lariat. Okay. Oh, no. oh, God. I don't, I don't know what that is. It, but... la la lariat. La lariat, lariat is a clothesline, essentially. What, what happens is. Where You're going to clothesline a bird. Okay. okay. Clothesline. Is it the same bird that I didn't kill quite? Uh, I don't know. I think... I, so yeah, it is. It is. Well, it's still got a wound, a wound on its neck. Borky's feeling lucky. Alrighty, I'm gonna go for it. 
the last uh, roll at nat one and you fall off. I, Since are you, you're doing this intending to do damage or intending to grab it, that's my question. To, intending to do damage. All right, then that would be just a regular strength check then. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. All righty, Borky winds up. 21! That hits. So your damage for this is roll a 1d4 plus your um your strength, strength modifier because you have tavern brawler so you get a 1d4 for your for your attack die oh my god so that's strength that's five plus 1d4 yeah 1d4 plus five four plus five max wow. damage. Nine, nine, nine max damage all right uh i do want you to still roll that athletics check now okay, okay. you don't fall off athletics check no worries i will quickly where's my athletics Okay. 25. <laughs> All right. You clothesline the bird. You hear like a ah! as you do so, the back of its neck. Its antlers get caught on your arm. You manage to bring it in, and you're currently choke holding the, the bird in your arms, flying with Gregory. And Gregory's like, ah, 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 like Borky just out. start Borky just start punching the bird in the face over and over again. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh Avery turns to you as you're bleeding and dying, and she goes, Love, do you want me to pull back, or do you think you can finish that thing off? Uh, uh Panic just looks up, uh, exhausted already, and... Fight. All right, I'm making the choice no. for you. No, no, no. No, no, don't <laughs> argue with me. No. You need to nap. Oh, why don't I you can... two just kiss already? Uh, do these, do these peritons have any metal on them? They're wearing armor. Uh-oh. <laughs> my god is my witness. That fam my bird had a family. It's been broken in half. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> From the top of the griffin, my I god! Oh my god! Thumbtacks! Uh, Alrighty. Uh, so, um, how many, uh, how many are left? One, just one left, one. and it's, it's okay. currently being strangled by Borky. Pa panic just uh, just uh, puts his, puts his hand on uh, Avery's shoulder, and and just looks up that hellfire back in his eyes, and he's going to cast heat metal. Oh god, that's terrifying! <laughs> <laughs> All right, heat metal, roll it. Uh, oh, uh, 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 I clicked on the wrong spell. No. Yeehaw! Heat metal concentration one minute. Uh, buh, buh, buh. any creature? Okay, takes two. Okay. Uh, oh wow. Uh, all right. Roll two d eight. Ten. Nice. 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 Nice roll. Nice roll. Nice roll. Forky, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. For oh, goodness. Fuck. Oh. For goodness. He's what? Because what? What? he's holding it. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. Is the bird made of metal? Oh, the, it's wearing. Yeah, it's armor. got armor on it. Yeah. It's got armor. On. Okay. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Okay. 16. What's your spell save DC? 15. 15? Okay. Made it. Borky, Woo! it's getting a little spicy, but you're, you're holding on. You're holding on. You don't care. You got this bird, and the bird is looking right roasted. Parts of its armor begins to actually ooze off, and it's just screaming like, ah! Ah! And in one final desperate attempt, it's attempting to bite you, <clears throat> Borky. And that is a 15 to hit, which doesn't. <laughs> Okay. And then with its talons, it's going to attempt to kick you. And Can that's Borky a 10, maintain so risk control? Can Borky can maintain risk control for this? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I will. I do want you to make another strength save, and it's going to do a, a counter to... Actually, I would take oh. its action. Never mind. It attacked. It chose to attack. Never mind. Okay. okay. Rainmaker! Can Borky, like... Okay, go Oh, wait, what am I doing? Well, it's not, your, it's not your turn, so you can't you can't do anything. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just sorry. I thought you said you wanted to do another attack. I was just ready. I was going to ask. No, you. it already did. It missed both of its attacks okay. on you. Okay. Uh, Remy, you see now Greckle's gently gliding, and he shot a little little fire spitball and hit one of the hit one of the paratons. But you see currently spinning around Borky the orc with 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 Gregory currently like ah, ah, like <laughs> didn't want to know. Uh, you see him flying with that paraton. You could easily uh, reach reach it if you'd wish to do an attack. I, I uh, yes, I would actually. Okay. Uh, is that a handling animal? Uh, that'd be a griffin riding real quick. Okay, hang on. This is your bonus action? Woo! Okay. It's a straight shot. You got it. You begin okay. flying up. Volo beating his wings. Just yeah. like the eyes on the kill. And then, can I swing? Yeah, you can swing. Yeah, let's do the thing. This is sweet. 
Damn it! Oh, 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 now you know how it feels. No. Welcome to the unexpected. Welcome to the unexpectables, yeah. Uh, Roll damage. Oh dear. God. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna no. hit. Oh no. Everyone uh, has officially hit Borky now. <laughs> I got true. it. You stab your own Griffin. <laughs> no, I. No, that's that's not true. I've never hit Borky. Can you can you roll damage? Just yeah, quick one, sword, Bosco. Oh, oh my god. Oh, let me let me roll a re like a dexterity save for Gregory. No. Oh. No. You have a swing, Borky. You see as Remy, you swing with your sword flying over and you cut Gregory's hair <gasps> right off. Oh no! 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 And you just hear it slow motion. Oh! Is it... As a single tear flies off of his face. Is it all of the oh. hair or only half? It's like he's got like a mullet now. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> what you say? <laughs> so you had a bad day. Artists, are, artists are just erasing pictures now, Nadine. You understand that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just pissed off every artist you ever just loved. Fuck <laughs> this shit! Oh, fuck on. this! He just, fucking, he just fucking mob psychoed him. <laughs> Greckles, at this point, your feet are touching the water. It's cold. <laughs> Activate duck mode. <laughs> there you I, go. I, I, I guess, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I will ready an attack if anything else comes at me, but I'm just going to sit there. I want some, I want someone to draw me as a duck. Just sitting on the water. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Winter, now seeing the scene, and with you, you're sitting backwards. She, oh, well, that'll be a roll. Uh, okay, 15, another 15, not bad. She races herself past the current chaos that is Borky strangling this parrotin and Gregory currently crying, drop the reins, and the Griffin just, like, flying all willy-nilly now. Uh, <laughs> you can roll an attack if you want to. Oh, a lot of shenanigans man. happening over here on uh, on Griffin number four, guys. You definitely hang out over here. It's fun. Good fun. <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 Taka. Yeah. If we ever get to make merch, I want like a small rubber ducky Greckles. There, that's good. That that is a <laughs> That'd be cute. that is a strong merch. They make ninja ones. They make ninja. ninja yeah, I know. All right, Task Task, are you taking a shot? Taking a shot. All right. Please don't roll a one. This. <laughs> oh, that's a twenty-eight. Jesus. Oh no no don't don't because the Ooh. other the, the other uh, one's a crit. Natural. So that's a yeah. that's an eight. That's a but not eighteen. That Twelve is a plus nine, seven. That's a nineteen. Yeah. That's a nineteen. You let loose. You you aim up the shot and just like you drive by and you literally watch Borky as you're strangling. So you just see a flash as white and red like streaks by and then you hear thunk. <gasps> as you see as you pull forth the periton, you see an arrow just barely missing you, but killing the periton. True. Borky holds his thumbs up. Hold on to it! We could use that as a trophy! Borky looks down at it. Punches it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. And you watch as the rest of them flee, being chased by the illusion of the gold dragon. That was such a good play on the, the gold dragon. Oh, dude, that was such a good love, play, dude. I love that Genjutsu, man. That's, good, that's some good shit. That's some good shit. Alrighty. Gregory. <laughs> oh, it looks fine. You don't. Oh, it's fine. It just, it just, it just means when you've washed your hair, it won't take as long. You know, it's, that's a plus. <laughs> I, be, I shave the sides of me head. That way, the hair doesn't get in my way. Well, fight. constitution save for Gregory. He throws up. No! Just, just, oh my god! That's just weakness leaving the body. It's just weakness leaving the body. <laughs> uh, Avery, Avery, like, gets gets you to, you know, like, gets you kind of, like, safe. She goes, are, are you okay, love? Deep breaths. Are we landing? Uh, yeah, you guys are going to the coast at this point. Okay. And she's just Quack. patting you, panicked. She's like, are you okay? You're okay. Um, uh, uh, my bleeding. Hang on. And he, he pulls out his uh, he pulls out his, his wand to heal me. And, I, uh... I just imagine he starts rubbing the wand against him. Uh. Oh, yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Work your magic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so that was uh, that was one d four. Yeah, one d four plus four for the magic wand. Are you casting mend on his hair? Six. Six. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you see you heal for six damage. Uh, the rest of you guys on your griffins come to a landing. Um, I won't make a roll for it. Uh, and actually, uh, Remy, you do notice Greckles floundering in the water a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait hold on. Nope. Thank there you. There you man. go. Uh, he, will, he will swoop by and offer a talon to Greckles to get on the bird. Oh, let's touch talons, me boy. Aw, oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, you lift him up. You get on the arms of an angel. I look for... Ah. I look forward to the, I look forward to the apology that uh, Remy must now give. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to the artist. <gasps> to, uh, the, well, the apology I have to give to the artist and Remy to Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I've ruined everything. I will see myself out. <laughs> no, no, you stay right here. You are a fine addition to the unexpected. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, no, I'm not ones and all. You guys land on the beach and immediately uh, Avery lets you off the Griffin like you're a wounded grandmother. And Winter steps off of her griffin and gives you the biggest smile task. Like, there's the biggest grin. Task also, like, task also grins to her, patting his stomach. This was... Ta task looks to her, I have to tell you something. That was both fun and therapeutic at the same time. And her grin gets even bigger. Like, her eyes kind of squint up as she smiles. Like, a really happy smile. Task pats her on the shoulder. Borky, and she pats you on the chest. Borky's patting Gregor on the sh on on the back as he's vomiting. Hey, hey, Borky, Borky, Bork, Borky looks at Gregor. Can Borky just look at Gregor real fast for a sec there? Yeah, for sure. Borky just takes a little bit of his hair, just a pu puff of it, takes his axe and just cuts it. <gasps> it's just hair. It grows back. Roll a persuasion check. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, all right. Please work. Please, God, work. 16. Yes! Okay. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Gregory stops, like, just like, uh -huh. he just stops, like, just like a kid who suddenly <clears> discovers <throat> it's snack time and they're like having a, like, a fart, like, a, uh -huh. just nothing. And then he slowly slips into the side of his armor and he pulls out a mirror and he looks at it and, like, poses back and kind of runs his hands through it and kind of turns. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. And he yeah, begins yeah. to just kind of like figure out what he can do with this. Yeah. He's he's rocking the guile look. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, easy dude. there, Joe Dirt. Dude, hold on. Tash is gonna go over to Borky. Do you still have the body? Borky's had it in his hand the whole time. Oh, yes, dude. No, we Bork, have Bork, the armor Bork, piece too. But yeah. Borky's like, oh, Jay, I've had this in my hand the whole time. I forgot about it. It just really dude, pissed me off. It just pissed uh, me off. Question: Would it be a pile of melted slag at this point? Melted slag? It's definitely burnt on the back. the The armor appears to be on the back and kind of near the top of the head, uh, but it is definitely like oh, it's it not true? over the entire body. There, there's right. some chest piece armor in the front, and then there's some on the back. But does anyone want to look at this thing? Speak now, or forever hold your fucking survival rolls. I will. Excuse me, I would like to look at it just real quick. Then, love. She what, jumps what? off and pats panic should on the shoulder. Should I stop choking it? Yes. Now you can keep choking it, love. Uh, Remy. Yes. You notice the armor, eh? Do I notice the armor? Yep, it is definitely fire giant make. Got it. Okay. Looks like they're getting a bit smarter about the griffins, eh? They had us. They knew about our rides. That's the only way. Uh, perhaps, or perhaps they're coming up with a counterattack for the griffin attacks that we've been laying on Hexton. Either way, perhaps this wasn't a accident after all. I don't believe in coincidences. This is no accident. Yeah, we should be careful. Maybe no more joy rides on this side, but um, I'll let Balfour know. He's going to kill us. <laughs> He's going to kill me. I'll take the shot for this one. I'm the one who wants to ride. I'm the one who takes the blame. That's very kind of you, but sure. Uh, uh, if I can interject one moment. Oh, hello. Why not, if anything, You've brought a, a gigantic piece of the enemy strategy to light. Lead in with that. It might go a little bit smoother. Yeah, see, we try that, but the anger tends to outweigh the... the... He doesn't get it, Remy, I don't think. No, they, they think he's joyful, and he's only joyful when he's not pissed off. 
Yes, and of course, there's always clipboard to consider. Consider. Oh, don't talk about it. Ah, clipboard. Uh, she's going to be. She's going to be right pissed. She's oh, she'll have right a field pissed. day with this. I'm sure we'll never hear the end of it. Oh yes, but at, you know, he's right. We did. We did find something. So in the end, we'll take the fall, but uh, we'll keep people safe. All right, we, we ought to get back. Uh, what was the little one supposed to do? And she turns to you, Task. What do you do? Task has a knife ready to go. Just like I'm waiting. All right, a big go old ahead. smile. Yeah, yeah, big old smile. Just like I've never killed one of these things before. This is gonna be fun. All right, uh, roll a survival check. Bleh, eight. Borky, okay. Borky grabs an. Eight. One second, sorry, sorry, say your beef because I have something I can follow. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. You, a... you, you cleave into it. It's weird. You don't know it. It's foreign. Uh, you do manage to get one of its antlers, uh, and then you also get two feathers. I will take it. One periton antler and two periton feathers. Can the rest of us take a crack at it, or is it too mutilated at this point? It's pretty mutilated. It's been punched, Wait, well, burnt, and, and... Here's the thing. We should also get this armor as well. Actually, yeah. I'd like to take the armor if that's possible. That is evidence, and would make us look good. By all means, take it. Excellent. Thank you. Good flying, Winter. And she gives Winter a pat on the back, and Winter like looks very proud of herself. Task Task takes an ar- takes his knife, looks up at uh, Remy, and just goes, "Final count two. <laughs> I suppose you win then. Oh no, the game's still going on. <laughs> We're not back in Alavast yet. Nope." I thought each yeah. whole whole continent, were, the big the big island we're on, was Alavast, but the towns also called it. I'm very confused. Punch the bird in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like also just got two. Haze. Sorry, what was that? I also got two. Hey, I drove two of them off. <laughs> yeah, well, you got two of them, and Avery comes over and gives you a pat, but look at what they did to you. Not much of a victory, if you ask me. Does, go, yeah. does most primal and personal kill count? <laughs> you know, at this point, wouldn't she see that gigantic, like, sprawling lightning... Uh, lightning yeah. bolt uh, scar. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, she I, would. Oh, yeah. I'm, sure she, I'm sure she saw it when, when he was falling, though. He, his shirt was open then. That was true. <laughs> Task just smiles. Oh, and don't when worry, he was he's naked. had worse. Yes. I can tell. Panic kind of looks down at his scar and uh, puts his hand over it. She she pokes it like ta- at a part Ooh. higher than it, just like poke. Here's here's something I'm gonna do. Task looks at the two feathers he has, but then looks over to Winter. The red scales are very prideful when it comes to their trophies, but you deserve part of it. He hands her a feather. Aww. She like takes it and like kind of looks at it. Then she shows it to her Griffin, which is like eating grass at the moment, just like nom nom nom. She's like, look look no, look look, and the Griffin's like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and then she tucks it actually behind her ear. Part of her right. goggles. Like she puts it in her goggles. And that is where we're going to end the session tonight. Oh, man. That awesome. was cool. Okay, tell you right now. That right, give me I'm going to st- stop recording. Yeah, yeah me too. Uh, everyone give me stop you, Austin. Give me a bit here. I'm, yeah. I'm needed for a little bit. All right, stop. I'm going to stop recording here real fast. Uh, if you want to, yeah. Stop the recording and uh, definitely save it as your character and the name of the episode, which was, I think, episode 22, right, guys? We're on 21. Are we on 21? No, this is 22. Oh, it is 22. Oh, God, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, no, no worries, dude. Okay, can I, can I real fast? Get real fast talk. Oh man, we're gonna 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 break you, Eddie. But this is oh, Edward. No. This is Edward Bosco, everybody. He is a voice actor from Los <laughs> Angeles. From Los Angeles. He's actually been a friend for a couple of years here. He's done some uh, short voice work for TFS. He was uh, he's he played Tifa's dad actually. I did, which is fun because my roommate plays Tifa. Yeah, <laughs> my old roommate. <laughs> That's good. It's yeah. also actually for the people who watch The Unexpectables. You were in the background in, in episode five, the finale. I was with when Paul. Curtis was recording in our booth, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I actually recorded the finale of the Ron Paul fight in this guy's house where he is recording right now. Uh, mm-hmm. you, you can check out his uh, IMDb. You can check out his IMDb, man. We got an IMDb for you, man. And uh, you know what? You actually, can we say what you're, you, who you play in Street Fighter V? We can say that. You right? can. So I yeah, I play Ed in Street Fighter V. I'm also in Killer Instinct, also in Guilty Gear, uh, One Punch Man. I did a thing for Marvel, the Warcraft movie and Warcraft Legion. So oh, I've done a lot so of cool awesome. stuff. Jeez. Yeah, man. So awesome. You, 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 you're, you're getting your work done. And you were uh you're in the newest Water Warfare, right, too? Uh I don't is there there's a new one coming? Oh, the the Call of Duty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new one that's coming out, like the yeah. world, when they go back to World War II. I'll be yeah. in there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. 
Fucking so yeah, the chat all uh, chat's quite quite. quite and now quite, you're quite, you're you're a bird barber. And now you know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. man. But it was. I'm so glad, like, because we have like a short. Dude, guys, that was a freaking blast. Like, you have no idea. Like, oh, welcome to the unexpectables. So no, Seriously. For... Oh, I can't wait for next session. I feel. I feel like. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, I feel. I feel like we. We're, it's going to take us a while to get back to back to home. Yeah. <laughs> And the whole time, Goomba's just vibrating when the feeling when you want to shop, but you can't shop because there are no shops. <laughs> the really oh, question. Here's a, here's a really important question. Wave or MP3? Oh, uh, either or. I've been wait, sending wait. mine as waves. Save, yeah. I've been doing waves. Send I'm what, sending his wave because they wave. can always decompress it. It's, actually, can, can someone post in... Uh, hold on. I'll, actually, I'll send, uh, I'll send the email you're supposed to send it to here in the... Uh, uh, we're gonna send. We, we usually send via WeTransfer transfer because these files are like fucking like what eight hundred meg. These are gonna be huge. Yeah, uh, yeah, mine's mine's almost a full gig. Yeah, that that. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, one sec. Let me just. I'll just post this here. I'll just type it out. I can't copy paste it and be lazy. I love being lazy. Don't quit it. No. <sighs> I like uh, how everybody is now like looking at my resume. They're like, who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! No, this by, is by, this... by by the way, Monty. Thank you for letting my letting me have my illusional fun. Yeah, no, that was I like that. That was clever. That, that was, was amazing. That was fucking sweet. When I saw you, didn't like. Oh, you're just gonna make this fight easier. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Monty, nice accent. Like I saw the chat just say it, but like that was I like the the tracer. I practiced accent. so hard. Was, did you, okay, do you play Overwatch? Because that was very tracery. Yeah, I, I kind of yeah. I kind of just listened to tracer lines for a okay. bit. Like, Hello there, love. Let's go. Like, just oh. I had fun with it. I, I it, tried to get better. That was great. That's like one of my favorite characters I've heard you do. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like Greg Gregory is a personal favorite, which actually was a video where I was hanging out with a friend and we were playing Skylanders because she worked at a game shop and like she had all of them. And I'm like, oh, I really want to check out all these different characters. And one of them was this fish guy who looked <laughs> super dumb. And like, I, I, I think I have a vine of it, but it was just like literally, it's just like I zoomed into his face and went, uh -huh. and just like my friend just started laughing. And I was like, that's gonna, that's gonna be him. That's gonna be that Gregory. <laughs> It's just just that, that, that there's, gonna, there's gonna be a lot of catching up on the wiki. Oh well, yeah. This there's, is gonna be sorry, a, this, this is gonna be a wiki dump episode. Oh. Yeah. They're gonna be like random bird with Griffin Rider shows up and this is this this actually could honestly be the start of another arc just for the sake of this. You guys don't level up because you guys aren't back in Alabas, but this is definitely kind of the start of the next arc. I Damn it. <laughs> it's a oh no. I I'll I'll say I'll say I'll say this now. This episode was so much. This was so funny. There there were so many great jokes. Gregor was great, Nadine, but just ah, yeah, it's he's, just he's funny. This just it's just all the character. Like I I really do like that lovely last hitting on 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 my talent on my tiny. <laughs> She's really great too. So I found I found the uh, animation I was talking about at the beginning. I'm going to give you the exact spot in the Discord. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I like Citra King is just like I am not changing Gregory's hair. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta export He's this. He's just gonna file recut here. it and just re moose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> what is this? Go oh to the. God. Just get the fifty-eight seconds, Daka. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that that's him. Yeah, that's that's literally him. Wow, that's that's bang on, man. Did you Except he's got a collection. He Actually, doesn't have like. A... It's oh, now, is your name Ramus or Re uh, Remy? Okay, it's so his name is Remus, like Romulus and Remus, like the, okay. the mythology stuff. Remus, but yeah. everybody calls him Remy. Okay, cool. People want to know what your class is in the chat, actually. I don't want to tell them because they'll figure it out in the oh. fights. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll find out more here. Also, I don't want to... You guys don't know what he is. All you've done is see him cast one spell, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cut off his friend's hair, which is great. That's... <laughs> Look, man! It's like, it's like something happened. He was <laughs> due for a haircut! Ever since well, I... Yeah, this way. First of all, you should ask Remy whether or not that was intentional. Oh, that's... There you go. Is that intentional? <laughs> I just... I, one of the... I just imagine at one point there's just something. I started hanging out with you guys, and all of a sudden, weird, wacky things start happening to my regular life, and I want you all <laughs> to know 
I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I hope I see none of you ever again. I really, I, just, <laughs> just, I hope when there's some big thing where all the characters come back together, I, I hope I'm not there. I hope I hate all of you. <laughs> I want I, my night I'm quiet. Looking, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking at the fan art that's coming in, and oh my god. Oh, Monday's going to be fun. I'm just going to say Monday's going to be fun. The Monday is the fan art special, which, Bosco, you were invited to this week. I think, oh, I get to come? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's some fan oh. art of your character, so I think it would be a, a fair point. Wait, how is her fan? I just showed up. Dude, yeah, they work you quick. Know you know what? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to quickly jump. Can I quickly jump in and just show him what's happening here? <laughs> all right, all right. How do I? How do I? I don't know what I'm looking at. Where am I looking? Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I retweeted a bunch of stuff. It's, it's oh, pretty so I got to go on Twitter. Hang on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you can go to you can go to you can go to the official Twitter, or uh, you can you can look at the stream the where, where Kurt Kurt brings it up. I like how the Galabder is still on your dashboard, Curtis. It's just there <laughs> judging us. The Galabder. There we go. We got Gregory right there. And uh, who's this old where? character that's not relevant anymore? M <laughs> Mel? Who's Mel? Whoever draws a picture. <laughs> oh. Whoever draws a picture of the SS Mel. Like the SS, like Mel, just getting hit by a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 That's a submarine. Great. No, no, no. As the ship is sinking, it fucking reappears with Tess standing out like a commissar. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. And it's the it's the fucking submarine. The SS. I just Tess. I just Tess. imagine winter is the iceberg. <laughs> Mister, 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 nobody. Uh, That's actually really good. Winter is the iceberg. I prefer. Uh, this is Mister. Oh my God! There's so much amazing art coming in here. I don't even know where to begin. Oh my gosh. Oh, that lies piece is heartbreaking. Oh the sh oh god, that's a shattered mask. Oh no. Could 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 <laughs> would, 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 I know this is a metagame question, but I'm so curious. Would would lies could have could lies possibly have lived through that? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Fuck if you I, if you had gotten back to the spot, there was a those, chance those lies could have lived. Those Good job with your rolls, boys. <clears throat> It's not their fault. It just it was the way it was. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This I want to end. I think we will end the stream on this comic. By the way, everybody, because like, oh Bracky, Bracky, Bracky. It's it, it's uh, well. The thing is, we did hear that there are pieces that you you might see me again. We might see the the the, the, the shadow of the shadow. I don't know who it is. Who knows what happens, guys? Because we were told that that was a part of, of of a bigger creature, essentially that's broken up. We don't we don't know what's gonna happen, guys. But the, from all of us here at the Unexpectables, uh, I want to thank again Edward Bosco. Bosco, where can they find you on Twitter? Do you want Twitter? You want people to follow you? Yeah, on I'm, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Ed Ed Bosco VA. So at Ed Bosco VA. I'm gonna type it out. You can type it out in the chat, actually. In my... I will do the thing in the do chat. Yeah, here we go. All right, and then go. you can copy and paste it where it's supposed to go. Exactly. There you go, man. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm really glad. No, I I can't wait to see what happens next week. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very excited. Oh, oh my god! I don't, I don't <laughs> what, know what are you doing to me? I don't know what you're planning, Nadine, but I'm excited because this makes this 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 was fun. This this is fun. This, 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 this. Hey Ed. Yeah. I've been following you. <gasps> That's a little creepy, Gaijin. <laughs> Fucking birds. By the way, you're not the only edgelord bird now. Get on oh, my uh, level, bitch. Kiss already. I'll take that challenge. Borky oh, just dear. grabs the head. No, curse. Just pushing the beaks against each other. <laughs> no, you just hear this horrible, this horrible scraping sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So... I can't believe you're starting the cat zone, Nadine, someone said. All right, everybody, talk to you all later. <laughs> Good night, Bye. everybody, and see you next Wednesday. Hashtag when Wednesday. Don't forget to follow all of our individual Twitters and follow our Twitch streams. Bye. Bye. Bye.